Oh, crap. I forgot to get my copy pastas ready, of course. Which means I probably will cause the game to crash, but I guess we'll see. Um, crap. All right, but uh, until then, welcome everybody to my janky Fallout. Come on, work. Why doesn't it want to work? Why do you want to work? Work. 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 Here we go. Move. Oh, I did it wrong again. God damn it. I, all I want is to make my announcements. That's all I want. That's all I want. Oh, my God. I can't believe this crap. All I want to do is my copy pastas. That's all I want. And they're like, you can't have copy pastas. Okay, I'm just going to have to reload the game. I'm just going to have to reload the game. I, I got to reload the game. I'll do it. <clears throat> First, I'm going to do my copy pastas, though. But yes, we will be playing Fallout 4 in just a moment. Before we do that, though, I need to get my... I, for, I, I knew I forgot something. I forgot something. But we will be getting started in just a moment. Copy. Paste. And then I need to copy and paste the name of the stream. <clears throat> what is it, Cat? You cannot be bothering me when I am trying to get my stream up and running. You cannot bother me when I'm doing that. There we go. Okay, now things are looking better. Copy and paste. Copy and paste. Copy and paste. Copy and paste. And then I just got to type in at everyone. What? It got... No, you can't do that. You can't do that. At everyone. Okay. Okay. What? It got rid of my picture. What is happening? What is happening? Here we go. Drag it in there. Okay, we're good. We're good. Now I can do the alerts. Then I can reload the game. Here we go. All the alerts. Another alert. Okay, now we can load the game. <coughs> okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Also, I got to make sure that they can't demonetize me by, like, hearing the fallout. Nope, 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 no fallout main theme. No fallout main theme allowed. <clears throat> Anyways, welcome, everybody, to my jury-rigged stream of Fallout 4. We'll be getting started shortly. Zen Master is first. I don't know how he managed to do it. I think he cheated. In fact, I don't know if I'll count it as him being first. I'm, I might give it to someone else. Whoa, what's happening down there? What is happening to that thing down there? <clears throat> you see it? It's like wiggling around in pain or something. Oh, it stopped. Anyways, yes, we will be playing Fallout 4. This is my first playthrough of Fallout 4, so this is the first time I have done the Nuka World DLC. And we will be getting started. In fact, let's get started right now. Nuka World, here we are. So, Zen Master is first, alongside <coughs> Crimson Mirage Drake, Arf. Heath Heyman, Casual Kirk, who are the early game. What is in my throat right now? b Rye says, howdy. Welcome to the show. Yeah, this thing was flipping around like it was crazy. I don't think I like it. I don't think I like that it's doing that. All right, so where we left off was... We need to get the Star Cores, I guess. I'm guessing there are more Star Cores than there are... 
Let's go to the battle zone. Yeah, let's go to the battle zone. That sounds like it'll be fun. Battle zone sounds fun. Why is everybody moving? Nuka Cade ticket? Oh, like Nuka Cade is in like Nuka Arcade, I take it? Despite this being a theme park, I have to say that like it's hard to find where I need to go. Okay, Battle Zone has got to be just around here. Okay, that's the side entrance. Let's go over here. Okay, here's the Battle Zone. We're going to go inside. Now, we haven't been to Battle Zone yet. So, we're going to see what's what. Zen Master says he's going to draw me as a super mutant. Maybe I'll destroy you, Zen Master. How about that? <clears throat> oh, God. We're under attack. Oh, yeah, that's right. We shut down all... Well, no, we didn't shut the Assault Trons down. I remember specifically saying that... Oh, I can kill them. I remember specifically saying that I would not shut down the Assault Trons. Because they're they're not there's there's not enough of them. They're they're too small in number. This looked like a machine gun turret. I thought may oh wonder a tank. Got the assault tron. But yeah, yeah, I said I would not take out I would not deactivate the assault trons because there's not enough of them. Like I don't have a problem with it. guy is beating the crap out of me. There we go. I hate these guys because when they hit you, they give you like the big stagger. Not the small stagger. They give you the big stagger. Why do I keep getting this? Like, what does what this little indicator popping up mean? Why does it keep showing this baseball swinging thing? I don't know what that means. Someone found me. There we go. Free war money. Oh, here's a star core. Nuka grape. Nuka Ray recipe? I guess these are all like soda things that we're getting. I mean, the main thing we're looking for are the, uh, the Star Course. Pack of cigarettes, terminal. Protectrons. Choose a personality mode. I want them to be a construction worker. I don't want to deactivate any of them because, like, I mean, they're worth EXP. I want to kill them all. Probably the same thing over here. It means my better perk activated. I don't even know what it does. We caught him while he wasn't looking. He's like gatling the crap out of me. Got him. Move here. No, I didn't want you to use that. Hey. This is a lot of robot stuff. For me. That's one thing to say. This pro this place probably has a great synergy with the uh, the automatron DLC. Oh, there's another star core. 
Robot diagnostics turn. Uh, error. Unable to establish connection. Please ensure the robot is correctly seated. Okay, well that didn't help us. Sounds like my cats are fighting. I guess they too are trying to get EXP. Lock's really strong. We can't get in there. Hey. Mmm. What's in here? That's a regular door. Oh, are those two star things? It's two star cores. Nice. Are you ready for incredible action? Are you ready for thrilling battles? Are you ready to see the latest robots fight it out in the ultimate showcase? Then it's time for the Robco Battle Zone! Now entering the ring, Robco's Galactrons! With their cutting-edge laser technology, watch as the Galactrons make short work of these high bots. So this is like BattleBots, the TV show. I mean, I'm, I'm into it, I'm into it. Can anything challenge the Galactron? Get ready to find out. It's time for a head-to-head -head matchup with the mighty Novatron. Scanners detecting sentient light. Okay, let, so if this is if we're gonna do a lot of fighting here, let's go ahead and activate all of our stuff. Oh, are they are they really just gonna stay up there? Okay, no, he's coming down. Excellent. There we go. This one's gonna stay up there, isn't it? Okay, I think I'm missing a lot. The lights are so bright that I, I sometimes it's hard to tell where I'm aiming. There we go. Incredible. Do you want more? Well, we'll give you more. Here they come. Two state of the art Novatron. Ooh, snuck the hit through. There we go. Man, this sword with the 50% damage is nice. The ultimate in high-end robotic engineering. The one. The only. Robco Space Sentry! An iBot? That was it? Oh, never mind. Oh. Slapping me around. Ow. Kill all these robots, too. Here we go. I'll get your foot. How about that? There we go. Oh, these are, these are still alive. Those aren't dead. There we go. Go for the chest on Protectrons to do more damage. Interesting. I figured their little, like, light bulb head would be their weak point. But I guess not. Oh, I can't go this way. Oh, did it lock me out? I guess it locked me out. How do I get out of this crazy battle zone? Okay, am I missing something? Oh, 
Okay, hold on a second. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe I need to kill all the iBots. There we go, there we go, there we go. We hope you enjoyed the show. Please exit through the doors on the lower level. Don't forget to stop by the Robco gift shop to pick up your very own souvenir from today's fight. Thank you for visiting the Robco Battle Zone. Okay, I was a little worried. A little worried. Is that all that was in here? There's two more. There's two more in the Robco battle zone. Okay, we need to let's see if we can find all the star cores. No way I could pick this. Wherever they would be. Where are you hiding, Star Cores? I didn't look through this area very closely, but I, don't, I doubt there'd be a Star Core here. What about in here? Don't think I can pick this. Hmm. I need to have better lockpicking to get in there. This one we can do. Bingo. Got it. This looks like a place. Here we go. One, two. Okay, we got all the star cores in this area. Nice. Okay, that's good news. All right, so let's go. I mean, I think we don't have. I don't think we have enough star cores in order to actually deactivate another group of robots. But you know, it's a good start. So we can either go to. Uh, we probably need to revisit a particular area, or maybe there's a place that I haven't been to yet. Either way, I'm very happy that I did not get rid of this um, this robot chopping sword. So, um, we don't have... While touring Nuka World, why not try a refreshing Nuka grape, Nuka orange, or Nuka cherry? Now available at any one of our park concession stands. There's three missing in Nuka Galaxy. I mean, I guess we could go back to Nuka Galaxy. We could also return some of these to the starport while we're on the way. We're happy to announce that the first 10 guests to arrive at the Barry the Bear Show will receive a plush berry to take home. Man, just finding random star cores just laying around here seems like it would be kind of a challenge. Okay, here we go. So we can start putting the cores in here. Boom. 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 Okay, we're out of cores. And I don't think we can deactivate more. Oh, we can. Um, turrets. Let's deactivate the, the turrets are really annoying. Um, okay, so here we can see in the star control. Wait, there's four of them in here? Wait, no, 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 no. I read that wrong. There's no more. We got all the ones there. 
There's four in... Okay, the Rob... So, okay, so yeah. There's four in Vault Tech Amongst the Stars. We should go there then. Vault Tech was in... Um, I think it was in the Galaxy area. I have no idea who that guy is. Oh, is it done? We we completed it technically? Oh, I guess we didn't have to completely eliminate everything. I guess we had to eliminate enough of it. Okay, we gotta get up top. Okay, so which gang should I give the um who should who should get the uh the galactic world? We got we got to think about who it is. I don't think the disciples should get Galactic World because, you know, uh, Galactic Zone. It's like it's all too smart for them. Like I think I think the disciples are too are too stupid. It's like I don't know. I just think they're too dumb for it. Why would we do the disciples? We need. It's like I think the operators should go here because they're the only ones that have like computing. You're gonna give it to the disciples? I mean, like, we already gave one of them to the disciples, but if you guys want to give it to the disciples, we can. Like, it doesn't really seem like a place they would want to hang out, but um, we can do it. Also, that was a first time chat from Romano780. So here we go, we'll, we'll give it to the disciples. We're not going to give all of them to the disciples. We're some, we have to like distribute it evenly. Where do I where is my um, care package at? Don't they give me a care package? Okay, in the meantime, which one should I go to next? So we did Kitty Kingdom. I uh, try try reloading the the stream if it freezes. You want me to do the zoo? Safari adventure. All right, so so which area should I go to next? We got one vote for the zoo. Guide maps for our hedge maze are available for Nice. Visitors at the Safari Adventure Park Office for only Okay, so it looks like you guys want me to go to the zoo. Okay, we're going to go to the zoo. I we we obviously have to give the the zoo to the pack guys because they're in the like animals and shit. Okay, it's just straight ahead. Yeah, it just makes sense. It just makes sense to give it to the pack guys because they're all about, like, animals and shit. It just makes sense. Okay, is this it? No, we got to keep going this way. I think if we just follow this railing, we'll get there. Oh, it's a Meyer alert. Looks like we got ourselves a fight. Oh, that's right. He blocks those attacks. Here we go. Yeah, how about some of that? Oh, that one got through. There we go. He turned his back.
Oh, I'm not close enough. Hold on. How do I have a zero chance to hit? Did he like debuff me somehow? Ooh, that he didn't block that hit. Oh, he didn't block that hit. Ooh, it snuck another hit through. Okay, he was he was not the most skilled of like Meyer Lurks. A little disappointed. His like his may no, normally Meyer Lurks are really good at blocking, but you know he let a he's a really sloppy Meyer Lurk. Let a lot of hits through. Like in Metal bets that the zoo will have a lot of Lola bunny art. It probably have. I, I have a strong feeling it has zero Lola bunny art. I just a hunch though. It is just a hunch. Don't take my word for it. We're gonna go see it ourselves. A gator claw. What is a gator claw? Oh, let me get my like organic slashing person. What is this guy? He's like the beast from the east. Oh, you're you're a friendly? Nah. I don't have time for this, pal. I've got raiding to do. You no friend. You bad man. Sito kill you. Not if I kill you first. Damn. He like got chopped up into like all kinds of shit. What did he give me? Was that a good item? Ghoul Slayer stuff. Wild Man Rags? Interesting. What about that hammer he gave me? Was that hammer any good? Heavy sub wow. A lot of damage. Let me try it out. 275 damage? At Safari Adventure. Oh, wait, I've got a job to do here, don't I? I completely forgot about that. Investigate the source of the gator claw infestation? Sure, I can do that. Oh, give me the soda. Give me the soda! Give me the soda! Consumer animatronic? Give me the soda. Zen Master said I just killed Tarzan? No, I didn't. I killed Sito. I know how to read Zen Master. I know who I killed. Ah! You ready to face me? These things are like some kind of a strange death claw variant. There we go, we gotta hit in. There we go. There we go. The old basheroni. You, you'll be fine, Dogmeat. I, I have faith in you. Uh, TSG asks, will I be playing seven days of I will when the new update comes out. When update 21 comes out. First on chat from Jose Manuel. He says, this is the best game of the world. I, I will say that I'm really liking the Nuka World DLC. Like... I usually require a certain amount of violence to be happy, and this place has a lot of violence. Oh, I'm under attack? That's good. Oh, unskilled. Oh, I got him on the nose there. Oh, you like that. Boom! Wait a second, I know where I am. This is the thing that the intercom was talking about. This thing was... This thing is, um... Uh-oh. The brain fart is happening. What are these things called? The plant maze. The I'm in the plant maze. 
The Hedge Maze, that's the name. Just like what the intercom was saying. Am I one of the disciples? No, I, I am the samurai of the of the Commonwealth. These disciples are like, I don't know, they're trying to copy me. I was here first. I was here first. This looks important. Oh, this would let me see inside the hedge, man. I mean, so much for the hedge. Oh, how high does it go? Okay. Oh, that's a dead person. Okay. It's fine. Would you like calm down, iBot? Park medallion? Oh, those are those medallions that that robot wanted. But the robot was talking smack, so I laid it out. A missile launcher. Explosives. None of these are honorable weapons, though. I only use honorable weapons. As the samurai of the commonwealth. I know the path of honor. Souvenir teddy bear. Wait, this doesn't look like the right way at all. This didn't take me anywhere. Unless I missed something. Here's some more of these little raffle tickets. Um, I don't think there's anything else up here. Let's go back down. Unless I, unless there's a pathway I missed. Okay, yeah, I don't think there's anything else up here. Okay, that's fine. It's all good. Here we go. I'm just gonna cheat by going on top of the hedge maze. I don't think there's anything else in here though, unless, unless there's something else. I don't think there's anything else in there. It certainly doesn't seem like the source of the, uh, the gators. The reptile house? I bet that's where gators live, in the reptile house. That seems like a logical thing. Please keep hands out of the cage. What if I keep my body in the cage? Mmm. I like this smasher. Good thing I found it. A ye old smasher. Okay, this, this is a really boring, you know, like, uh, there should be reptiles in here. I feel a little bit uh, ripped off. Oh my god, two for one. A kickball, silver locket. Ooh, more soda. I need all the soda I can get. I don't know what it's good for, but I love soda. Reptile tour guide terminal. Emergency procedures. In the event people are bitten. I don't know. Just won't be a wimp. How about that? This place may have deceived me. This might not be where the, the location of the, the uh, like, alligator infestation is. I think I've been deceived. Yeah, I've been deceived. This is not the right place. Hmm. Oh well. Onwards! Alright, let's try to find another place we can interact with and see if we can find the source of the gators. We'll see how it goes. I'm a little bit confused on why a normal sledgehammer is better than the super sledgehammer, unless I just haven't seen the stats of a super sledgehammer in a while. Mom. 
money. Oh, it's a rat. I don't understand what's happening when that pops up. Like, I know it has something to do with a perk, but I don't understand what it's doing. I, mean, I should probably read those things, but I don't know. This seems kind of boring. Maybe I, uh, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe reading. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a park pamphlet. Did he drop a hollow tape? We can take a look. Due to a mix up at Safari Adventures Animal Wing Facility, Apple Juice. Where's Miscellaneous? Hmm. He has a key. He has a key, is what he dropped. Let me drink some water real quick. There we go. Nuka Cola, it's just a bottle. Coffee pot. All right, we got to find out where the alligators are coming from. This is a giant fly swatter. Just wait until I flop, swat all of your flies. They don't even fight back or anything. Wow. They're cowards. A forager. Oh, I'm fighting ants now? Man, this is a throwback to Fallout 3. Nuka Hardy recipe? Ew, that sounds kind of gross. Who would want to drink Hardy soda? Do not approve of this. What is this stomping noise I hear? Bottle caps. Okay, what? Oh, I saw one. Okay, this is the this is this is good. I mean, they're calling this an infestation, but I really, I've only fought a handful. I don't really feel like I've fought that many of them. Come on. Here we go. Just wait until I get a big, I'm going to get a big hit on him. Here it comes. Oh, uh, how do you like that? Oh, right on the nose. Uh. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, this is only like a single one here. Like, f for the quote unquote infestation, there's only like a handful of them here. I, f I feel like I've been deceived. Like, when I think of an infestation, I think of a, a large number of enemies. Okay, so that area was not the source of the gator infestation. What about this place? We can't go in there. That also looks familiar. I think I've been there already. This is a little kiosk. Let's try going in the opposite direction. Let's go on the other side of the park. ADHD Gaber says he got in here to see a gator claw. Yeah, it's basically Florida. Like, I feel like I'm right at home. Corn. The only thing I don't have is Mountain Dew. This place looks promising. This looks fancy. Well, never mind. It's restrooms. Attack! Oh, it only did, did like, no damage to it. Why, why did it do so little? There we go. Got we on the note. Mm. That's right. That's right. Gamma rounds. All right, let's see. Anything in the rail? Let me get some water real fast. I wish you could drink the water a little faster. Bottle caps. Tokens. Tokens. I'll take them. All right, so the bathroom is not the source of the gator infestation. 
Where am I now? I'm on the outside of the park, so this is probably not where the infestation is going to be. Let's go back inside. Oh, a safe. Advanced. Okay, I'm not good at picking locks. Like, I, I can I can do... I can do computer hacking, but I can't pick locks. Like, that's not one of the services that I provide. Oh, he was- I thought he was dead! Yeah, instead of roaring, you should've, like, got your guard up. What's in here? Is this another place- oh. Did you just find a secret area, Dogmeat? What is this place? Employees only? Gator Claw is the new Florida mascot. I mean, basically. I mean, to be honest, some alligators can grow bigger than these things, so. You know how it is. First time chat from Papa Swanson says, hello, how is everyone? I am trying to find the source of this gator infestation, according, according to the quest at least. What was the point of coming up here? I don't understand what my objective is besides to find the infestation. Oh, oh, let me use the height. Maybe the height will give me a clue of where I should go. What is that area with the four-leaf clover? That looks interesting. We've already been to the reptile house. We've been to the greenhouse. The primate house. I don't think we've been to the primate house. Either that or I have and I just didn't, like, it didn't click in my head. I mean, the gators, the, you know, like, um... Oh, this is the primate house. I get it. I get it. Someone's family is here? I didn't see anybody. Let's keep going this way. I feel like we haven't been to this section. We haven't been over there. Bears? Prepare yourself. The big attack. Uh. Tickets. I don't know what these tickets are for, but I guess I want them. Attention, please. The 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. performances for Oswald the Outrageous are sold out. Limited tickets for 5 p.m. are still available. Oswald the Outrageous. Didn't we kill him? Pretty sure I killed him. Did Cito drop a hollow tape? Somebody asked that. I'll double check. I'll double check. What would the hollow tape be called? Here's a key. He dropped a key. I mean, if he did, I, I don't know. It didn't, didn't seem like it. can be purchased from any souvenir stand in any of our parks. Bottle caps. Won't be able to pick this. Of course. This one doesn't go anywhere. Who then? That's one of those party animal guys, or whatever those guys were called. Please keep hands out of the cage. Another gator. Let's do it. How do you like that one? The big attack. No, don't drink the water. There we go. Oh, 
All right, let's keep looking. We have still not found the uh, the source of the gators yet. How am I enjoying it so far? It's a lot better than I was told it was. Like, I didn't play Fallout because when it first came out, people told me that the game was not going to be good. Another coward. It's a stunted coward. Unbelievable. How long have you been here? You could have gone to the gym, and instead you just sat here and did nothing. Unbelievable. Dogbeat, hey. you need to carry some of this stuff. Yep, 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 you gotta carry this stuff. Yep, the, that, you're gonna have to carry all this stuff. There we go. All of this stuff, you're carrying it. There you go. Um, let's go in here. Oh, this looks promising. To battle! To battle! The power attack! Now you are next. You are next! Oh, wow. I really let him have it. Nuka Cola Dark. Dirty water and bloat fly meat. Safari Adventure Maintenance Terminal. This sounds promising. Nope, never mind. These are just little, like, dialogue things. Oh, okay. This is a little short little detour. They're, they're definitely sending us for a wild goose chase, or I guess a wild gator chase. Nothing in here. Aha! It's time for you to face me. Okay, more tokens. Okay, that's where we left off. Let's keep searching. We gotta find out where the source of the gators are. That's our goal. We gotta find the source of the gators. And then I'm going to probably hit the source with a hammer. That's that's the plan currently. Dazed Eyes raids with a party of four. Welcome to the show, good sirs. Oh god, it's going faster than I can read and play at the same time. But haven't we been to the reptile house already? I feel like we've been to the reptile house. We are trying to find the source of all these alligators, which I don't know where the source is because I have never played Nuka World before. Okay, let me look at my map. Huh. Let me take that second entrance into um, the reptile house. I want to check that secondary entrance out. Oh, that isn't the secondary. Wait, what's over here? Okay, this leaves the park. That's not going to help. Let's go in here. That was a lot of first-time chats. Unfortunately, it has spammed all of the scroll up, so I cannot read everyone's first-time chat, but thank you very much. Gomez Warrior 619 that's a name I didn't recognize. Gator Claws are my favorite. Yeah, they, it's basically just like being in at home. I, mean, I live in Florida, so it's basically like, instead of Safari World, it's just Florida World. How is the game? 
Well, it's better than I thought it was going to be. I was told that this wasn't a very good game when the game originally came out, so I never bothered to play it. Uh, what happened was my community voted for me to play it, and I said, okay, I'll give it a shot. Emergency procedures. Uh, what do I need to do? Confirm that the visitor has a valid park admission. Wait, 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 wait. In the event that a visitor has been bitten or stung by one of our specimens, don't panic and follow these instructions. Confirm that the visitor has a valid park admission ticket with a, the liability release printed on the back. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. If they have a valid park admission, they must immediately fill out a Safari Adventurer incident report. The reports are available in Nukatown, USA at the main office. If the visitor is paralyzed or otherwise unable to move on their own, inform them that a Nuka World emergency stretcher can be dispatched for $400. Oh. Oh yes, this is definitely in the United States. Once the Safari Adventure Incident Report has been completed, first aid will be provided, cost of materials and paramedics fee for labor will be billed to the visitor. If the visitor does not have a valid park admission, please call security as soon as possible. Oh. Oh. Well, okay. Well, I mean, I mean, I guess I have a bunch of tickets on me, so I guess I have a valid, a valid park entrance. Okay, so this was not the source of the gators. We got to keep looking. We'll find it though. I, I figured out Galactic Zone, and I figured out the Kitty Zone. I can figure out the. I'll figure it out. And whatever I can't solve, I can smash with a hammer. Didn't somebody say that Cito's family is somewhere? Maybe that's a clue. Let me check my map. Quests, 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 quests. There we go. Okay, so this thing isn't going to give me a hint for nothing. Or is it? Is that a hint? Hell no, that's not a hint. That's just the... Okay, that's just the cash, the care package. Yes, dog meat is my companion. Get out of the way. The building has a gorilla statue on it. Well, the only place that I could think of would be the primate area. Maybe I maybe I didn't look there hard enough. The Jungle Journey Theater. I don't think I saw. I didn't see anything good in here. We fought one of the gators, and that was it. Maybe I didn't look hard Attention. enough though. We're happy to announce that Mad Mulligan's minecart ride has finally reopened with stronger restraints following last year's tragedy. Now, I think there's anything there. Let's look around. Uh, let's try the prime. Where, where was the primates? The primate house. Let's try out the primate house. The Welcome Center? Did I go into the Welcome Center or was it blocked off? Like, why wouldn't I have gone into the Welcome Center? This is such an obvious place. Why wouldn't I have gone here? I feel like this is the first place I should have gone. Oh, here we go. These guys are like sumo wrestlers. They stomp before they start, they stomp before they start fighting. We're like trading blows. There we go. All you gotta do is boop the snoot and then they're toast. Requires a terminal, okay. A ransom note? 
Um, Mr. Brad Burton. Why does that? Oh, that's the guy who invented this place. Okay, that's a message in the past, so I don't care about that. Facility security level. Co, chinchilla, orangutan, dingo, and grizzly. Okay. Did that open the door? Terminal somewhere. Okay, this is the terminal. Why can't I unlock it? This facility is in full security lockdown. The laboratory can only be accessed by Dr. Hine, Dr. McDermott, and Mr. Brad Burton. Any attempt to breach the facility will be met with lethal force. Okay, so I guess I need like some kind of an access code. Okay, that doesn't really tell me anything. Is the ransom note important? We have, oh wait, wait, here we go. We have your top scientist held hostage right where you plan to build your precious angry anaconda. Come alone. Okay, I bet I need to go find the angry anaconda. Terminal's gotta be somewhere. Angry anaconda. I think that's our hint. I bet we'll find his body there, and he'll probably have, like, the, the code we need or something. So where is the angry anaconda is the question. I need to find Cito's family? Didn't you say Cito's family was by the primate area? Where, where was Cito's family? Because I haven't found them yet. Okay. Let's go to the primate house. It's right over here. Grab the soda, of course. Okay, this is the primate house. I must have not found a way inside of it. Oh, here it is. Oh, okay, so Cito's key unlocked the primate house. Oh, can I kill these? I can kill these. They are ghoulrillas. Do these things do a lot of damage? I can't tell. Ghoulrilla King? Why are they called ghoulrillas? I don't understand the reference. Ghoulrilla meat. There we go. Now all that defense stacking is finally paying off dividends. I don't know how many times I died in my first stream, and now we're like almost invincible. Funnel cake? Get your funnel cakes here. I did not uh, I did not change any of the settings. I am playing on whatever the default settings are. Jangles the moon monkey. Am I missing something in here? I, I, I was expecting something else in here besides... Oh, Cito's note. Here we go. If you're reading this note, then you've met Marco Cito. His father, Marco, was killed in a super mutant attack on our settlement. And I'm afraid my own wounds will be taking me as well. I don't have much time, and I'm terrified to send him out into this world alone, but I don't have any choice. I'm begging you to please take him in and see that he gets the food and shelter... Um, to survive. Tell our little Cedo that his parents love him and that if he's looking for us, we'll always be inside on his heart, his mother, Imelda. 
Right, so... Where... I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like I'm missing something. One more time. Let me look one more time. This time I open my eyes up and look really hard. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Let me just grab these real fast. In case they were covering something. I don't think there's anything here. I thought I was going to find, like, somebody's family here, but I guess not. Um, or there's another area I didn't go into? Well... That did not find us the source of the... Um, okay, I, th I think we still need to follow what I was looking for. Big Anaconda area. So the ransom note says that they're holding Dr. Hine in the Big Anaconda area. Nuka-Cola... Bloodworm? What the hell is that? I've never fought one of these before. They're not very pretty looking, I'll tell you that much. Alright, so if I was a giant anaconda, where would I want to be housed? Attention mm. guests. To prevent limb loss... Please refrain from leaning over the railings at the Gator Wrestling Show. Thank you. Maybe this will have a tone? I'm right Oh Yeah, I know where I am. Ooh, I was hoping one of these buildings would say Anaconda Building. What's this? Oh, this is that area we couldn't get into. There's a hole there. Let me see if I can get in that hole. Attention space pilots! Earth is under attack, and you could be our only hope for survival. Hmm. Ships are now boarding at Nuka Galaxy. Yeah, this map sucks. I figured there would be a hole here that I would be able to go in to get inside that cage, but I guess not. Oh, here it is. The 1 PM Gazelle, Hack Scavenger. The outrageous are sold out. Oh, that's too Limited much. Limited tickets for 5 PM are still available. Here, dog meat. I need your help. You got you got to carry more stuff. Here you go. He can't carry anymore. Damn it. Let's just drop some of this crap on the ground. While touring Nuka World, why not try a refreshing Nuka grape, Nuka orange, or Nuka Oh, I'll cherry. take those. Okay, so this didn't lead to anything there. important. It was just a little, like, bonus area. Okay, we got to do something. We've got to find a bench because I, I feel like daylight is going to help me out a lot here. So let's wait until daytime because... Oh! I feel like I'm more likely to miss a detail if it's nighttime. T. Why can't I wait? Of course. Oh, I leveled up. Never mind. Okay, hold on a second. I'm supposed to be leveling this up because I'm supposed to be able to get that thing where I can invest in merchants, and then it won't. I won't have to visit a bajillion merchants to get them to buy my shit. So we're gonna we're gonna get that leveled up. 
Alright, so there was nothing in here, right? I don't think there's anything in here. If I was a big ass anaconda, where would I want my enclosure? Don't feed the bears. We already did the bears. Yeah, I know where I am. I'm over here. Well, there can't be very many areas where they would put an anaconda. What is the point of all these cages? There's like nothing inside of them. You think I should take this path towards the roller coaster? Okay. Yeah, maybe this counts as part of the park? Oh, it's not really a giant anaconda. It's the name of a roller coaster ride. I see. I see. It's the name of a roller coaster ride. Oh, he survived on one. There we go. Oh, there's a third one. Just wait for the big attack. There we go. For the big attack. Here. No, I didn't want to give you Stimpak. He's always like, he's found out how to get Stimpaks off of me. He hides, oh, darn it, we finally, we're, okay, we're, we're kind of hitting the point where no matter what I do, like, we're just running out of cargo space. Um, what can I do? Uh, T to sort by weight. Whoa, that's not what I wanted to do. Q to sort by weight. No, not, how do I sort by weight? Z. Gator meat? Yao guai meat, ghoul, ew, I don't wanna eat. Oh God, did I just eat the ghoul rilla meat? Damn, it's still too heavy. Gazelle, let's eat the gazelle meat. There we go. Is that enough? Oh my God, what's my weight at? I, I need to drop two pounds. It's all this gator meat, I bet. I'll drink some soda. There we go. There we go. I drank some soda. All right, so we can't pick up any more loot until we sell. All right, so we're looking for Dr. Hine. Lock tight. We can't get in there. Did that fix it? Won't be able no. To pick this. No. No. No way. Can't I can get pick in this. there. That's the same place. Looking for Dr. Hine. Where could Dr. Hine be? Let's check this area. I actually, Dr. Hine could be alive. If he's a ghoul, he'd still be alive, but I guess we'll see. We can't take any more loot. That's right. I can't take ammo there. Ammo doesn't, ammo doesn't weigh anything. Okay, this area is really big. I 
That looks like a downed aircraft, unless it's just a prop. Could just be a prop. Let's see this thing over here. What's this? That's a thing. It's a cave crew. Oh, he's got more health than I think. I thought he looked, he's so small, I thought he would die in one hit. Three hits, really? Wow. Okay, new enemy type, cave crickets. Um, ammo, ammo, ammo. Nope, this was definitely not a prop. This is actually a real vehicle that crashed here. Not sure what I'm looking for, but this has got to be the right place. Okay, this is as far as we can go. So that means that Dr. Hine is somewhere in this area. Maybe... Maybe Dr. Hine is where the ride would begin. Maybe if I follow the coaster car path to where the ride begins or the boarding area, maybe that is where Dr. Hine is. Like, I'm looking for something like a landmark, or something that sticks out as, like, an obvious place to to investigate. I feel like this is where it would be. Like, this area, I feel, is our best lead. But maybe I just, maybe there's a key nearby. Maybe there's a key that'll let me inside of here. Maybe I'm just not looking hard enough. Lock's really strong. Don't think I can pick this. No key on their body. That would be a cool place to put the key. Like if you had to reach your arm into here. Okay, let's try up here. I'm pretty sure I've been up here, but I'm gonna double check. What is the point of going up these places? Hmm. Machete? Nothing at all that looks like a key. I already know I went up. Maybe I just didn't look hard enough. Maybe I didn't look careful enough. Why did I grab that? I already know that I can't carry more. I can't help it, it's soda. Looking for a key. You think I should check the top of the building? It's beer, beer, lots of beer. Too bad I can't smash that and get in. AFAD interrogation? Pre-war money. What is the AFAD interrogation? Should be right at the beginning because it's in alphabetical order. Please, I don't know what you people want from me. Stop playing innocent, Dr. Hine. We know what's going on in that laboratory of yours. Yeah, yeah, Hine. We know what's going on down there. Are you going to shut up and let me do this, rabbit? 
Sorry, Mike. I just want to scare the guy. For God's sakes, Rabbit. You're supposed to use our code names. Both of you shut up. Wow, now so these guys... Time, we know Brad Burton has you performing cloning experiments on the animals you've locked up in that torture chamber you call a lab. I can assure you, we treat all of our specimens with the utmost respect. There's really no reason to keep me here against my will. Oh, that's where you're wrong, Dr. Heim. We brought you to the Angry Anaconda construction site for a very specific reason. As a supposed man of science, how can you be so stupid to allow Brad Burton to build this thing so close to where you're keeping the animals? Do you have any idea the lasting damage it'll do to them? Well, do you? Look, why don't you just untie me and then let me head back to the laboratory? I'll talk to Mr. Brad Burton, and I'm sure we can all have this misunderstanding cleared up in no time. Ah, yeah, nice try, Hein. But you aren't going anywhere. Hey, Mike, Ingrid, something's going on outside. <sighs> what is it, Rabbit? I don't know. People running around everywhere. Maybe looking for us. Maybe not. Looks pretty crazy. All right. Rabbit, stay with Dr. Hein. Robin, let's walk the perimeter of the place with Mouse and see what the hell is going on. Okay, that must be when the bombs dropped. Okay, we're in. All right, we got to find Dr. Hein. Because he's got the key, I bet. There we go, the password. That's what we needed. Flamer fuel. Okay, okay. Now that we have that, what we can do now is go back to the welcome center, I think. Back to the welcome center, I think. The welcome center, I think, is the key now. Because there was a terminal that required his password. And unfortunately, we couldn't hack it, not even for like a master level. Prox, welcome to the show. The terminal is in the welcome center in the place. Yeah, yeah, we got to get to the welcome center. I think the welcome center, I mean, it's a welcome center, so it must be at the front of the park. That's where you would put a welcome center. Try one today. We're at the front of the safari zone, I should say. Okay, where am I? Yeah, I feel like it should be right around here. Oh, I think I'm on top of it. I think this is the welcome center. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, you've, of course, you would put the welcome center as the first thing you'd see entering into a theme park. All right, onwards. Okay, you're okay there, man. I thought that was an enemy at first. What's this? Nuka nice. Rush? Okay. I still don't know what to do with any of those soda things, but I'm collecting them. It seems important to do. Here we go. Uh, unlock the door. Here we go. Making progress. Oh, we found it. Deactivate the malfunctioning cloning machine. Not before I kill these fools. Oh, the parry is real. On the snoot! The power attack! Ooh, I obliterated his face. Stim pack, I could use one of those. Dr. McDermott Journal 53L. Let's play some of these. This is Dr. Darren McDermott, last known survivor at the Safari Adventure Replication Facility. Continuing my personal recordings. I've been continuing to modify the Nuka Gen replicator to provide a source of food. It's 
ironic that the very same device Nuka World was using to create its animal specimens for leisure has become integral to my survival. Using a tissue sample from a cow, I was able to replicate a viable clone, consume it as food, then use the remaining tissue to create another. I figure as long as the Nuka-Gen replicator continues to function, I'll have an endless supply of food for years to come. Dr. Hein would be proud of my accomplishment. It's sad. It's been so long I've almost forgotten what he looked like. My god, it's been decades now. Maybe even a century or more, hasn't it? Has it been so long? Well, I'll, uh, I'll continue recording later. Right, right. This is Dr. Darren McDermott, last known survivor at the Safari Adventure Replication Facility. Is this the same thing? my personal recordings. It's been... Hell, I don't know how long it's been. I think I stopped counting months ago. Or was it years? Even with the scientific equipment at my disposal, it's clear there's no going back from what I've become. The radiation from the bombs has taken its toll on my body, twisting and deforming my physical appearance. But instead of falling into despair, I've embraced the change and used it as a basis for my new cloning research. Perhaps this curse will turn out to be a blessing. I just wish Dr. Hein was here to guide my hand. I feel lost without him. Yeah, well, Dr. Hein got abducted by animal like Fallout PETA. Uh, these are just diary entries. Okay, I'm about to say, I'm expecting to fight some enemies if there's like an out of control cloning thing happening. Oh, he's getting the combos on me. Okay, hold on a second. They want to fight? Okay, let's have a real fight then. Here we go. Here we go. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Uh, let's do alphabetical order. Buff out, that's what it is. Buff out. There we go. Prepare yourself! There we go. Be gone! And I can't loot anything because I am at my capacity. Oh, well, they're dead. That's the important thing. I'll take the bottle caps, though. Okay, we got to continue looking for, I guess, laboratory equipment? Look at all these mentats. Holy crap. Another fusion core. Oh, that looks important. Nuka Cola Quantum Terminal. What does this do? Remort door. Yeah, unlock the door. I don't know what door they're talking about, but let's unlock it. Why not? Uh, oh, here we go. Dr. Hines passcode coming in handy again. Accessing the system. Disable the replication procedure. There we go. We did it. Oh, I still need to kill the other gators. Gator claws. Code name none. None. Okay, I guess we did it. Oh, there's more. 
Okay, this explains where the last two we needed to kill. Okay, we got the big attack coming up. Smash! Where is dog meat at? Dog meat is supposed to be assisting me on this. Dog meat reminds me of Zen Master. He's always saying like, oh, I got your back, Fox. And then when I turn around, he's never there. And then he's busy drawing some kind of freaky robot cat girl porn thing. That's exactly what dog meat's doing right now. Okay, we did it. We're going to assign this, and unless there's one more thing I need to do, we're going to assign this to... Let me see if I figured it out. Did I figure this out? Yes, we did it. We just got to assign this place to a group of people. Zen Master says when you turn around, I stab you in the butt. Are you saying that you've become a butt stabber? How do I get out of the water? Okay, there we go. All right, all we got to do is assign this. All right, you guys think about what, what who, I, okay, I already know who I'm going to give this to. We obviously have to give this one to the animals, but you guys have to figure out which, which park we should go to next. Tonight's showing at the Starlight Interstellar Theater will be Night of the Fishman's Revenge. Not recommended for children. I'm not giving this one to the disciples. This is clearly perfect for. This is clearly perfect for the, what do you call it, the animal guys. Why would we give everything to the disciples? They can't even see. These guys are being, they, they, the pack gets this one. We're not giving that one to the, the disciples. Okay, we did it. Due to unforeseen so which one should I go to next? We can go to either the Nuka-Cola bottling plant or Dry Rock Gulch. In the meantime, we're going to go over here and get my... Well, no. We need, to, we need to sell. Where do I go to sell? Do they? Where, where are the merchants at? Where is the market? Fiztop Mountain? The Parlor? Nuka Town? Which one of these is the market? Which one of these is the market? Nuka Town? Nuka Town USA? Okay, Nuka Town. I, I, haven't, I haven't spoken to any of the merchants yet. Nuka Cola's award winning taste is derived from a secret combination of 17 fruit essences. Which are balanced to enhance but not overwhelm that classic cola flavor. Interesting. Word is super mutants just hit the place. Who is the merchant? They're still trying to rebuild. Should be easy. I don't care to talk much. Oh, are you a merchant? No, your your name is literally just trader. It's good, Shank. I don't bring you bullshit. And I'd like to keep it that way. Here. Earn this. Anything else you find out? Shank, you'll be the first to know. Oh yeah, here's that stupid robot that was talking that mad smack. Are you Mason a merchant? Hard and feathered the last alphas. Ain't been seen since, and it ain't smart to go asking about it. Inside the market. Okay, here we go. Inside the market. All right, here we go. What is this? Cobbled together from a robot's. Arm-mounted weapon. Tesla rifle shoots deadly arcs of electricity. That sounds kind of cool, actually. Nice to see you know what side to take. Hey, boss. Gotta admit, it was good to see Coulter go down. He scared the hell out of me. Gave me nightmares. I mean, so will I if you don't, like, sell me shit. Piss me off and you'll find out just how scary I can be. No, 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 sir. No way would I piss you off, boss. I'm not stupid. So, uh, what do you think? I think you should sell stuff to me before I destroy you. Pretty tough job. 
keeping all these raiders in line. Is this not a merchant? I wasn't really looking to become the overboss of Nuka World, but I might as well enjoy the benefits of my position. Makes sense to me. Well, I'm sure you've got more important stuff to do than talk to me. Yes. Or were you here to pick something up? There we go, barter. I've got a few minutes to browse. I can't believe she talks to me about, like, things that I don't care about instead of sell to me. She's lucky I don't destroy her. Um, oh yeah, we need to sell, like, a lot of- the meat is weighing us down, I think. We gotta sell the meat. And the water. All of this stuff. Oh my god, that gator meat is worth a lot. Holy monkey butts. Uh, reset. Reset. Wow. Um, let's try this a little bit differently this time. Let's sell that a little bit later. Let's sell some of this crap. We'll sell them the soda. There we go. Let's sell, sell, sell. There we go. That's a little more than what she's got, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, do I want to buy anything from you? I do want MedX. I'll I'll take all of your stim packs, I guess. Okay, so now I've got 707 to work with. And how much is this stuff? Why is this stuff worth so much? There. Okay. That stuff is worth a ton of money. The raiders keep talking about blood worms. I hope I never find out what those are. Sure, well, I'm here to trade. Who it is. But I'm not like my guard my down for a second. Stand with your presence, oh great boss, sir. Uh, the charisma god strikes. Lose the attitude. Or lose something a lot more valuable. Sorry. I know you didn't ask for this. It's just hard not to be bitter, you know? We do all the work, then the gangs reap the rewards. Pretty sweet setup, at least for you. But I guess it doesn't really matter what I think, does it? As long as I'm wearing this collar, I'm no better than a slave. Yeah, yeah, get, how do I tell this guy to sell to me? Or buy, buy from my stuff? Get back Unless to work. Unless you want a bullet in the brain. Shut the hell up and get back to work. Fine. I said all I wanted to say anyway. <sighs> now. If you need guns or ammo, I'm the one you talk to. And before you ask, yeah, everyone pays. Even you. Okay. Let's see what you got. <laughs> okay. 344 caps. Man, how am I going to sell this stuff? This stuff is worth so much that I don't know how I'm going to sell it. I'll sell that. Let's see if we can sell some... How much gator meat can I sell? Okay, is there anything I want to buy is my next question. Do you have a cool melee weapon? Any cool... A rolling pin. No, that's not what I'm... A ripper. Not what I'm... A splatter can. A stunning super sledge. Oh, that seems pretty strong, actually. This is 275. This one's 275 plus 56 in um, special damage. Before I pull the trigger on that, let me see. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, all right, here we go. Here we go. Then I can sell the other super sledge, or the other sledge, I should say. Okay, okay. Now, now we got something to work with. Let's see how many of these I can sell. There we go. Okay, let's see if he's got any... Oh, he only sells weapons? He doesn't sell any... Uh, okay, well, you know. There must be an armor guy. Let's see if there's an armor guy. Are you a merchant? Found some pretty good stuff while I was out on the road. Nice, nice. Interested? Let's see what you have. 
Um. Watch them have a better melee weapon, and I was just too impatient. Throat Slicer. That is a powerful... I kind of want that. I kind of want that. Throat Slicer. That sounds kind of cool. Let me see if there's any armor. We're looking for physical armor upgrades. Doesn't look like there's anything there. I always want medics. Stim packs and stuff. Yeah, okay, you guys think I should get it? I'll get it. Where was it? It was called Throat Slicer. The target bleeds for an extra 25 points of damage. Okay. That was really expensive, so we should be able to sell a bunch of junk. Where are all these mods? I don't know what these mods are good for. I'm going to sell them. Um... I can sell all of those. There we go. All right, so we finally found a way to offload all of that. Now we can get uh, the stuff off hey there, the dog. You really laid a beat down on Coulter. That was the Gator Hide. Sell the Gator Hide. Okay, Heads up. that's under junk, isn't it? Ooh, heavy. As long as you keep your eyes on the merchandise and off of me, I'm happy to do business. Let's do sure. it. Sure. Let's take a look. Nice. Then this stuff... And then you said I should also sell my gator hides? Okay. Gator hides check. There we go. Alright, what's my inventory looking like now? Uh, 291. Where is all this weight coming from? I think I need to put some... Sell the gator hands too? So, you're the new boss. Coulter was no pushover. If you were tough enough to take him out, then you definitely earned that title. Whatever his faults, I'll say this. Coulter built something here. Something important. A lot of people come a long way to Oh my god. I don't want to hear about your story. I just want money. It's the kind of opportunity you don't want to take for granted. Right. Um, I don't need your advice. I don't really need your advice. Sorry. No offense. Just trying to help. After all, if this place prospers, it's good for both of us. There's one other thing you should Oh my god, I just know. told you I don't care. I've got an arrangement with Shank. When I'm out on the road, I keep an ear to the ground. I hear anything interesting, I relay it to him. I don't care. Whatever arrangement you've got with Shank is your business. I'm glad you see it that way. Since you're here, can I hook you up with any supplies? Let's see what you have. These people are lucky that I don't smash them for their insolence. Gator hands. Oh, she can't afford that many gator hands. Wow. There we go. Uh, I'll sell one more gator hand. I don't care if it's a little over. That's fine with me. Okay, so what are we up to? That's still so much. Okay, here's what we got to do. I got an idea. I got an idea. What we need to do is we need to claim. Here's what we're going to do. I have a feeling that I collected too much junk that needs to be deposited in my workshop. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect both of my care packages. Then I'm going to go dump off my stuff at the Red Rocket. And then I will, you know, I, I, I think we should weigh about 120-ish pounds right now due to the Super Sledge. Boop. 
I can't believe we gave this place to, like, the disciples. Like, none of them are smart enough to, like, know what this place even is. As long as... Now we'll get our care package here. Although the Nuka-Cola Corporation would never admit, Nuka-Cola Wild was released directly to compete with Sunset Sass... Sarsparilla. Oh, that's the one from um, New Vegas. Is that Sunset Sarsparilla? If you ain't standing out, you ain't worth looking at. Bingo, we got it. Okay, step two. We're gonna go back to the Commonwealth. And we're going to go to my stash so that we can dump this stuff off. I could have banished her. Why would I want to banish her? She just talks too much. Huh? You dare attack me? Is that is that what this is? You're going to attack me here? When I've got this humongous, like... I got the throat slasher, that's right. Don't you understand that I have the throat slasher? And take all your stuff. This weapon seems pretty good. Ooh, I want the quantum. This weapon seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. Alright, let's go to the Drumlin Diner. Speak to my best friend, Wolfgang. Wolfgang is basically the best guy in the entire game so far. He sells me, like, mega juice. He reliably sells mega juice, and he's just always here, and there's always two people to sell to. He's basically the Thanks ultimate guy. Thanks for helping guy. us out with Trudy. You did good. Now, let's talk business. I've got a few minutes to browse. You got needs. I got product. What are you doing, Cat? Um, okay, we'll sell this, and that, and that, and that, that, that. All right, let's see if we can push it back up. Let's buy some, ooh, we definitely want MedEx. Always want MedEx. All this, I want all of that Psycho as well. All right, let's do that trade first. Sell all this junk. And um, I'll buy some stim packs. I'll, I'll buy all the stim packs. Why not? I'll buy them all. Okay. Sell all this weird Nuka Cola stuff. And oh, cigarettes. Oh, yeah. I forgot about all the cartons of cigarettes and stuff. Oh, did I put that? Wait, gazelle hide? I bet I don't need that. Gator hands. Jangles the moon monkey? I don't know what that's good for. Packs of cigarettes. I guess I don't have any cartons. Cartons are usually worth a good bit. And, uh, dog meat has nothing, right? You don't have anything, dog meat? Dog meat, do you have anything? No. Okay, so now we just need to deposit this junk, and then we can go back to Nuka World. Also, I need to put some of my melee weapons back. Like, we have more melee weapons than we need. This suit of armor is kind of cool looking. This, like, robot suit. I mean, it, I will probably do a second playthrough of this, uh, a survival playthrough, and in that I will probably um, probably use some different stuff. Like, I'll, I'll use guns for a change because I, I didn't want to use any. I didn't want to like make this a gun playthrough. Um, we can put this stuff away, I think. What is the spacesuit for? Quest item can't be removed? I didn't even know that was a quest item. 
Okay, so now our weight was originally at like 200 and something. Look at that. We're down to 45. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. All right, back to Nuka World. I thought this DLC wasn't going to be that long, but man, like we're really we really are just carving a path through this place. Like there's a lot of stuff to do. So you guys said that we should do the uh, the Nuka Cola factory next. I already know who's going to get the Nuka Cola factory. We're going to give that to the operators because the operators said that they wanted to return this place to its original function, which is to produce soda. So let's just teleport there, and then we'll move on. I'm not giving it to the disciples. I'm going to give you to the disciples, Zen Master. Like, you get to pick two places for the disciples, and that's it. And you already, you already got your two picks. Okay, this is the correct way. Actually, I need to program my new hotkeys. Okay. A landmine? Why? Why would a landmine be there? Okay, how do we get past this wall there? Oh, did I just not kill all the ghouls? I guess I just never killed all the enemies. Oh my god, I'm faster on the draw than they are. Okay, this is not the right way. This is not the right way. This is not the right way. Okay, we've got to figure out how to get there. I've got an idea. Maybe I can just jump outside of the, this area altogether. Or maybe not. Well, wherever I'm going, I feel like it's more the right way than the wrong way. Are there still zombies here? Do the zombies just never go away? Okay, I gotta say, this knife seems pretty good. Wait, can I get them to get smashed? Can I smash the zombies with the carts? Yeah, yeah, come here. Here it comes. I think it smashed. I can't. T I couldn't tell what happened. Oh, he got smashed. Oh, I'm dying. Hold on. I need to stop dying. One moment. Okay, I think this looks promising. 
Okay, this frees me out of the... I, I just never should go to that place ever again. Everywhere I go there, it's always like... I'm always getting lost. Wait, I can make the swarm bleed? Whatever you say, game. Okay, we're supposed to go to the bottling plant. That's over here. I'm going to have fun with the factory, says Zen Master. Well, I paid to have fun, so... These are those blood worms they were talking about. I just kind of give them a little bit of a stab. There we go. Kind of gross looking. I don't think I like them. I think they look like yucko gross butt. All right, onwards. We've got like a bottling plant to recover. World of refreshment. I like refreshments. Nuka World is proud to announce the grand reopening of our World of Refreshment ride. Now featuring delicious Nuka Cola Quantum. Okay, the, I guess our first test is already here. Oh, enter. This looks promising. Here we go. World. Oh, we're in. I didn't think this would be the entrance. I mean, sure. I mean, are they going to have like soda everywhere? Oh god, it's super irradiated. It's not good for you. Wait, 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 why is he glowing? Look at the bleeding damage. Look at the bleeding damage. What is this thing? Nuka alert. Oh, okay. So these are soda drinking. Welcome to the Nuka Cola World Nuka Cola Cola. Now oh. Nuka -Cola Quantum. You're an animatronic. I thought he was an enemy. No way I could pick this. Nuka Cola. Oh, this is water? It tricked me. It tricked me. I thought that was soda. But in late 2044, Mr. Brad Burton was finally successful, and Nuka Cola was born. Oh, just wait until I use my new technique on you. How about this? Uh, uh, uh. How about that? Oh, God, they do the ouchies. There we go. It took almost two years to perfect the formula, but in late 2044, Mr. Brad Burton was finally successful. Oh, babies! Evil babies! It quickly surpassed a lesser beverages to become America's number one favorite song. It is not soda, Zen Master. It says right there, drink water. It clearly says it's warm. What is this thing? It is a lobster variant. What is this thing? A crawfish variant? I don't know if it's more dangerous. I can't tell if it's more dangerous or not. No, evil babies! Oh yeah, just wait until I get you with the... There we go. Huh! Get it with the power with the, the sneaky attack. Yeah. It took my health bar away. I can't tell how damaged I am. 
I hate when it does that. You're getting in there. Let's attack this thing here. This guy doesn't look as strong. They're the evil babies. Don't wait, you'll run out of blood. It's a battle against time. Nuka lurk me. Is this worth a lot of money? It took almost two years to perfect the formula. Why is it still moving? Why are they still moving? Taking all your babies! And I'm gonna. St oh god! It's a big one! Oh, you're not defending yourself, you idiot! I'll stab you! I'm basically like the world's most evil dentist. I'm killing the babies! I don't like how they keep moving. Don't drink the water! That door is super locked, wow. If these guys don't block. Ow. But they hurt. They do other things. They don't they they've traded their they have traded their their defense for more offense. There we go. I just have to sting them with my stab. Get out get out of the way, dog meat. Oh, they do damage. Why do they do so much damage? Let me stab them with my stabber. There we go. There we go. These are called Nuka Lurk Hunters. Interesting. Nuka Orange or Nuka Cherry. That's right. I'm going to kill all of your babies. And be on the lookout for our special Every baby is worth 3 EXP, which doesn't seem like a lot, but I don't know. Maybe it adds up. I don't like how they keep moving. I don't like how I keep. Oh, God! I'm trying. Don't you see I'm trying to drink the water here? Ow. Why does he do so much? How about that? How about that? How about that? Oh, it's too fast for you. You can't, you can't block it. It's too fast. Oh. Oh. A cigarette carton. So they smoke too. Interesting. Oh, I'm going to get your babies. Don't think I won't stab your babies, too. Okay, that's good. Then pick up an ice cold Nuka Cola Dark and experience the most Nuka Cola. All of these doors are locked. 35% alcohol by volume. 35% alcohol from what? Like, do they got, like, Nuka drunk or something? Oh, this one's more skilled. He's blocking. Oh! Oh, we got a fighter here. Oh, I snuck that hit in. The bleeding damage is taking its toll. Do not consume Nuka Cola Dark if you're pregnant or planning on becoming pregnant. So Nuka Cola Dark is oh, Nuka Cola Power Arm. It's one of several operational factories actively producing Nuka Cola. 
Nuka Cola grape? Here in the bottling chamber, we carefully pour each delicious liquid into our new space age rocket bottle. That looks like a turret. We'll check that out in a moment. Let's keep going this way. It's weird that the water is irradiated, but the water doesn't give me radiation for standing. Oh no! Oh, the laserizer! Wait, where's my robot slashing weapons? There we go! No, don't hit me with the pinchy arms! Oh no! I forgot! The laserizer! Stupid robots! This is supposed to be the Murloc battle, not the robot battle. Welcome to the Nuka Cola World of Refreshment. Now featuring a river of Nuka Cola Quantum. This is a river of Nuka Cola Quantum? I didn't catch that last time. Nuka Cola Quantum. Twice the calories, twice the carbohydrates. Twice the calories, twice the carbohydrates, twice the caffeine, twice the taste. Okay. Well, we know what we're fighting this time. Give me your stuff. Nuka Cola began its journey in the year 2042 when our founder, John Caleb Bradford, was a budding chemist. It took almost two years to perfect the formula, but in late 2044, Mr. Bradford was finally successful. 16 times the radiation? I don't think it's 16 times. I'll, I'll have to look at that. I think you're trying to deceive me again. It quickly surpassed other lesser beverages to become America's number one favorite song. <laughs> Not one to rest on his laurels, Mr. Brad Burton and his team of talented beverageers. The bleeding is actually really helpful here. Also, I keep forgetting I can do this. Sneak one through its defenses it there. Two years to perfect the formula, but in late 2044, Mr. Brad Burton was finally successful, and Nuka Cola was born. Okay, I remember these guys. Let me get his attention. Oh yeah, that's right. They spit gun at you. I forgot about that. Okay, so they're not too bad if you, like, get on them. If you get on them and try to do some damage, it seems like they're not that bad. There we go. Ow! Didn't see that there was a second one here. Chop this guy up! There we go. Uh-oh. What happened to him? Did I just, like, chop his body off? Kill all of their babies. Nuka 
Okay, looking good, looking good. Ooh, snuck one in. I can't see my health. I hate when they do that. Why do they take my health bar away? Like, it turns out that might be an important thing to know is how much health I have. This one didn't defend itself. I hate how they keep squirming around. They look like they're still alive. Outfits. Hey, Mom and Dad. Outfits. Are you ready for a night out on the town? Pick up an OL out here on the East Coast. Folks do like the most restaurants of a quenching way to unwind. Nuka Ward. Or Nuka. Okay, we're almost to where we were last time. But this isn't. Alright, this is where we were last time. Let's save here. The ride. And also, I want to cure my radiation levels. So, we're. Give me a rat away. And a nice, there we go. Here in the mixing area, we combine just a hint of 17 select fruit flavors to produce that. Don't know what happened to him, but I'll take it. You missed! Okay, they both, you just use their laser attack. So no more laser attack for a little while. Welcome to the Nuka Cola World of Refreshment. Now featuring a river of Nuka Cola Quantum. Body blocking? Nuka Cola Quantum. Is that more robots? That's a lot of robots. Hold on a second. That is a lot of robots. To battle! There we go. Show me the damage. Get behind them so that they can't block my attacks. There we go. Grab all of this stuff. All of the robot parts. Very nice. So sit back and enjoy the ride oh, as we take you through the Nuka Cola World of Refreshment. What was that? Oh, that was the turret. Okay, that was the turret. Okay, we'll check that area out a little more closely in a moment. Oh, I can't see my health again. I can't see my health. Stop taking my health bar away. I can't tell if I'm injured or not. I hate when they do that. Here in the bottling chamber, we carefully pour each delicious liquid into our new space bucket bottle. That blue glow isn't just for show, folks. Quantum contains a ton of Got it. And now for a special surprise. This Here we go. That's more like it. 
This place had a lot of fighting in it. Holy crap. On behalf of all of us at Nuka World, we hope you have enjoyed the ride and learning more about Nuka Cola. Okay, this must be On the other. Oh. We hope you have enjoyed the ride and learning more. Welcome to the Nuka Cola World of Refreshment, now featuring a river of Nuka Cola Quantum. Where does all this lead to? Okay, that's that door there. Nuka Cola Quantum. Twice the calories, twice the carbohydrates, twice the caffeine, and twice the. Okay, let me see what my mission objective is. Clear the Nuka Cola bottling plant's exterior. Okay, so we just we just cleared the exterior. Now we gotta clear. Yeah, we cleared the interior. Okay, now we gotta clear the exterior. Okay, okay. I'm following along. I'm following along. I got this. Isn't just for show, folks. Quantum contains a top secret additive to give you a nuclear boost of energy. Packs of cigarettes. Some random gunner. Oh yeah, I guess the gunners were chilling here. I guess they... Th oh, here we go. A security terminal. Open the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Open the door. Good idea. A star core. What is a star core doing here? Wait, I thought it was going to open the door. Oh, the power's not flying. Okay, you can't open the door. Oh, quantum. Yes, give me all the quantum. Nuka Cola quantum. This blinking light looks important. Stabbed it before it had a chance to react. Stupid robot. Okay, so this is literally the factory section. Okay, this looks like the right way. Let's go out here. Alright, so now what we gotta do is clear the exterior of the factory in order to decide who which gang gets to control it. Works for me. Oh, I don't have enough. The disciples are not going to get in the bottling company. I don't know why you would do that, Zen Master. What is this thing? Nuka... Wait. Nuka something. Nuka Lurk King? Well, he sucked. Some king he was. More gunners. Alright, so this one seems a little more straightforward. We basically... Oh, look how much damage that did. Wow, we owned him. The Nuka Queen. Oh, a rematch. Hold on, let's save. We have, we have a rematch with the 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 Myrler Queen or whatever the Murloc Queen. Oh, I don't have the AP. Okay, if we're going to fight this many guys, we might as well use everything we've got. Buff out. Medex. Jets. Psycho.
Yeah, how do you like that? Too fast for you to block. That's right. Oh my god, there's so many of them. There we go. You like that, don't you? Okay, the, 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 if she's just like the other one, that means I should be safe, it's relatively safe inside here because she doesn't have that crazy acid attack. Love the bleeding effect, that's gonna help a lot against these guys. Okay, this one's down. Are there any more? Has the time come to face the Murloc Queen? Oh, really? There's seriously a radiation storm? Okay, here, here we go. We're gonna fight the Murloc Queen. Come and face me! Too agile. I'm gonna stab you directly in the butt. Directly in the butt. Who? Ha! Who? That's right. I can parry you with this tiny knife. Ow! Ruah! Turns out drinking all of that Nuka Cola made her weaker than the other one. Maybe it's not very good for you. Like, she was a lot weaker than the first one. There we go, though. Also, big sub here. Big time sub. We've got a T3 sub coming in from Good Gravy from Bandit. That is 16 months. Holy macaroni, that's a whole lot of dip. Holy guacamole, that's a whole lot of dip. Thank you so much, Mr. Bandit, for being a part of the Fox Republic. Also, yes, like, uh, looks like, e I don't know if you told Evie, but she she's aware of the, uh, the joyous journey, so we're gonna have to jump in there on that. Yeah, that was like a lyric in a rap song. Holy guacamole, that's a whole lot of dip. I'll always remember that one. There we go. Wait, did I do it? Did we did we win? Um, clear the Nuka-Cola bottling plant. Okay, we're still going through the exterior. How do we, um... Okay, so I haven't been in the back part, I don't think. This new knife is pretty good. I, I, I'm definitely glad I bought the knife. Oh, is it just raining like regular rain now? Interesting. I feel like this is no longer part of the Nuka world. Or the bottling area. Even though it seems like it is. We need to find... I guess we need to hunt down and kill every single Nuka lurk. Wait, wait, that looks important. Look at all those ramps and stuff. Those those look intentional. Well, obviously they're intentional, but we should probably do something about them. Let me steal these babies. Maybe these babies count as enemies. We'll stab all babies. 
Over here, we can stab more babies. Kill all of the babies. There we go, we stab all of the babies. Okay, let's try upside this ramp over here. This might lead somewhere good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't recognize this area. This area looks interesting. Oh! These guys suck. They're not even strong. Okay, I'm taking that last perk because I'm so sick of not being able to. So, you can now invest 500 camps to increase their buying capacity. That's what I want. Now, now I should be able to invest in people and now I should be able to actually sell stuff. Next, we're going to work on our carrying capacity so we can sell a bunch of stuff. Jet and buff out in the first aid? I, that's, I, I agree. That is definitely... Wait, did we just do it? Was that the last one? Oh, yeah, we did it. That was the last one. We can assign a gang here. And no, we're not letting the, the disciples... We're not, I'm not giving this place to the disciples. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing the disciples, Zen Master. Wait, turn that off. No, I said turn that off. Okay, this has got to be the place where I choose who gets it. Here it is. All right, I already know who's going to get it. The operators are going to get it because that's what the operators wanted. They said they wanted to return Nuka World back to its original purpose, which is making soda. So the operators get it. Well, that was the easiest one out of all of them. Like, by far the easiest one so far. Um, what else do we have left? Safar, or Dry dry Rock Gulch is next. That would be this right over here? Okay. Onwards to Dry Rock Gulch. Process of elimination and whatnot. Okay, right over here. I wonder what Dry Rock Gulch is going to be. I mean, we already had like a kid's area that was kind of like an imitation of the Magic Kingdom. We got a bottling area. We had a safari area, a, a Tomorrow World area. What is, is this going to be like a water park or something? No, I'm not giving anything else to the disciples. They are not getting anything else. They already got two. That's their fair share. They get two. Okay, so this is it right here. Dry Rock. Let's see what kind of a theme park area this one is. Why would I give all the parks to one game? That's stupid. Why would I do that, Zen Master? Dry Rock Gulch. Howdy, 
Oh, it's like Adventure Land in Disney World. Where it's always high noon. Hope y'all are having a good day here at Who is attacking me? Oh. These guys are like not a really, really a threat, are they? I mean, sure, there's a lot of them and whatnot, but they, they don't really seem very dangerous. Is this place basically like Bloodworm Land? Is that the theme of this one? Another dumb robot. This place is infested. This whole area is infested with bloodworms and who knows what else. It's not safe. You must mean the no good outlaws that are coming out of Man Mulligan's mine. Well, partner, if you're interested in lending a hand, I could use a new deputy. What do you say? Oh my god, what's really going on? I could use charisma on a robot? You're not making any sense. What is this? Processing. Confused. Our concern, visitor. No need to worry. I am just a friendly Nuka Cola Rotectron. Programmed for theme park amusement. Our friendly cowboy personalities will guide you and your loved ones through several fun wild west activities i love how oh here we go the perfect i hate robots <sighs> this is why i hate robots it's over okay the world ended deal with it processing hostile visitor ignore and continue explanation for the sake of the other guests the door to my mulligan's mine is locked up i got a spare key in a safe by the theater but wouldn't you know i plum forgot what the combination to the safe was you'll need to talk to my three amigos doc phosphate one eyed i and the Giddy up, kid. Prove to them you're tough enough to take on the outlaws and they'll give you their part of the combination. Good luck, little doggy. And don't forget your complimentary deputy uniform, courtesy of Nuka Cola. I see. Anyways, I guess we're going to go look for, like, um, some s s combination locks. Who are you? So, you're the new deputy. Uh, well, I ain't impressed yet. Let's see how you handle an old-fashioned quick broad duel. The rules are simple. We'll each walk into the street. I'll count to three, and then I'll say, draw. First one to hit the other wins. The charisma god. Look, I'm in a hurry. Can we just say I won? I, I absolutely guarantee no one at Nuka Cola is going to be upset. I suppose, considering how crowded the park is today, that we can make the charisma god. Here you are. Nice. Okay. Doc Fox Fakes Saloon. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, and it's a cricket now. 
What a weird enemy. Why crickets, specifically? Why crickets? Okay, what do you want? Okay, as I was saying... Help me corral my missing giddy up buttercups. They're dead giddy. Oh my god, the charisma god! Actually, I really don't want to do this. Can we skip it? Pretty please? Well, I suppose there ain't no harm in it. All right, here's the third part. Oh my god, the charisma god. Right, right, right. While touring the gorilla house, please refrain from making rude gestures to any of our primate specimens. Thank you. You know what you need? A bottle of Nuka Cola. While the fruit based flavor with the hospitality is a big deal out here in. So apparently, Nuka Cola Wild was designed to compete with Sunset Sarsaparilla. I got three orders of drinks. I need you to deliver. One is just upstairs. Parents, don't forget to pick up your child's Nuka Sheriff. Come on, let me be the Charisma God. Just let me be the here. Here we go. The Charisma God. I already took everyone their orders. Don't you remember? You said I did a rootin' tootin' good job, partner. That does sound like me. All right, here's my part of the safe combination. Go get those outlaws. Attention. Get, get in. In the event oh, that was so good. That was so good. We didn't have to do any of those shenanigans. The Charisma God. Zen Master says, because they're a gosh darn varmints. Yeah, these are some gosh darn. Wow, this one's really big. Why is that one so big? You don't need to be that big. Ants. What is this? Fallout 3? Oh, are they all dead? Oh, no, they're not. No, no, more of them. These ants are nothing compared to the ants in Fallout 3. Wow. They're not even that big. Okay. We're looking for... No, no, no. You didn't just burst out of the concrete. You can't do that. Legendary Venomous Bloodworm? I- what did it die in- why are they so fragile? Here we go. Oh good, I didn't even have to put him in. Mad Mulligan's Mind Key. What's this? Jesse's personal log. has got to be the worst gig yet. Caleb came up with another way to torture us with his ridiculous method acting. First it was all the drinking, which, admittedly, was fun at first. But now the guy's refusing to bathe and subjecting us to the worst body odor ever known to mankind. Seriously, the guy plays the town drunk in some Wild West kid show. St. Hollywood. Okay, well, let's get the other log. That'll show them. Okay, so unfortunately I cannot actually kill the robots because the game's like whoop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a. But that's fine. We've made it into Mad Mulligans. 
Oh, I, I feel like I chose these things in the wrong order. I chose all the hard ones first, and now I'm on to the easy ones. Give me your outfit. Door's chained up. Okay, door is chained. Wait, let me guess. It's more of these blood worms. So would you, which of these Nuka-Cola flavors would you try? Like, Suns, this Nuka-Cola Wild probably tastes like root beer. Because I'm pretty sure that's what Sunset Sarsaparilla is supposed to taste like. Terry's Note. Okay, that's fine. I mean, like, root beer wouldn't be too bad. What's in here? Oh, God! It's full of weird things. Oh, they're dead. Zen Master says he would drink Nuka Cola grape. Bandit says he'd probably give each of them at least one shot. I'm not a huge fan of grape soda generally, but I, I would still at least try a bottle. This this reminds me of like um, Thunder Mountain at Disney World. Oh, God. I just killed another legendary one? Why are they so fragile? They're so weak. A lot of times they're just dead and I don't even know it. Quantum would probably give you a heart attack. Yeah, or maybe if you're a wimp. Okay, we have the key to that. That's the Mad Mulligan's... What do you... Maybe, but that's just the thing. Like, maybe you would get a heart attack from drinking Quantum if you were a whip. If you're not, like, a professional soda drinking kind of guy like me. Oh. I don't know where it is, but I'm swinging. Get, get out of the way, dog meat. Don't you see I'm furiously attacking? How do these how do they how do they continue to be like these things? Are they just like respawning? Like everywhere I turn there's another corpse that explodes. Sam's no Whatever, we'll just take their stuff. Hmm. Oh, of course. Why why are there living cows here still? Oh yes, more cows. Basically exploding in the hamburger. Oh, we can drink. I remember Surge. Do they still is Surge still a thing? I, I haven't seen Surge on on shelves in a long time. Like Surge was like the original energy drink. I guess we go this way. Who are these guys? Did, did, did I win? Report back to the sheriff? Oh, that might be a problem. That could be an issue. That could be an issue. Souvenir shop terminal. Stimpack and purified water, ammo, ammo. Okay. Other side. Ugh, oh, too far. Bingo. That's it. They're the rootin' tootin' outlaws? No, they're like weenie dick looking biteronies. That's what they are. They are definitely not rootin' tootin' outlaws. Okay. Let's see if the sheriff is still mad that I tried to murder him twice.
Ho hopefully he's gotten over it. Hopefully. I, th I think he's gotten over it. I suspect he's gotten over it. And if he hasn't, well, damn. I'll probably have to wait. I'll, I, I think if I pass Attention. time, he'll forgive me. All contestants for the Nuka-Cola drinking contest must turn in their indemnity waivers before they will be allowed to participate. Here, I found it. Do you want, do you, do you, do you want to help? Here, I found it. I found it. Deputy Eagle, there's no reason to be like this. I only tried to kill you. It's not that big a deal. Okay. This is what you, you brought this on yourself. Maybe I can talk to him while he's beat up. No. Hey. Okay, so I think the way we have to get Deputy What's-His-Face back to normal is we probably have to exit the area. And then I bet if we spend maybe a day or two away, he'll go back to normal. Because the thing is, I killed everybody in Good Neighbor, and now when I go to Good Neighbor, uh, the people that I couldn't kill are all friendly. Let me see if I can wait here. Ye old waiteroni. And I'm not going to get any health back, despite the fact that I've just been sitting here. The, oh, you didn't rest in the bed, so no health for you. Okay, let's see if waiting for 24 hours was good enough for him. It better be. Do I seriously have to? I'll just do this. Oh, oh, you can't fast. Okay. No, no, no. You're not going to make me go through the train ride a second time. You're not going to make me do it twice. I'm not, I'm not falling for it a second time. I know what I'm going to do. I got a big brain strategy. Which hopefully won't backfire into a small brain strategy. Here we go. Well, in the Nuka world. And then we'll go back and we'll see if that makes him no longer hostile. Because like I said, it works with good neighbor. Like At good neighbor, they're not hostile to me anymore. I don't know if I have to wait longer than a day. But we'll see. Where is um, Dry Rock? Here we go. Dry Rock. We'll go over there and we'll see if Sheriff Eagle wants to, like, if, if Sheriff Eagle wants to be civilized. Maybe we could talk it out this time. You know, last time he, he wasn't one for words. Um, time to kill you all. This has been a real pleasure, Sheriff. But I think it's time you and your robot friends got sent to this scrap heap. Processing emergency. Hmm? There we go. Now I should be able to destroy them. This guy's like, uh, he's quick on the draw. There we go. Now he he lost his he lost his relevance as a as a vital member of society and now he can be killed. There we go. With my robot chopping sword, 50% more damage to robots. This thing has been like my my trusted ally for a long part of the game. Okay, I gotta kill all the Protectrons. I like how the game isn't even playing along with their names. They're like, nah. Now you cannot survive. 
Oh, I love it when the game lets me destroy them. Oh yeah, the one in the saloon. Due to a mix-up at Safari Adventures Animal Waste Facility, apple juice will not be served this evening at the Four Leaf Fried Fish Restaurant. There we go. Two hundred bottle caps added. Was that was that the was that what I was supposed to win from doing their quest? Assign a gang. Okay, here we go. We're gonna assign a gang. And no, we're not gonna do. We're not gonna do the disciples. How do I get up there? Won't be able to pick this. No. See, I knew. I knew Zen Master was gonna suggest that. We're not giving it to the disciples. Who are these people? Okay, here we go. Wait, 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 wait. No. Okay, I'm giving it to the operators because I think the pack are weird. They're going to be the odd man out. That's right, that's right. I headed Zen Master off at the pass. I knew it. I knew he was going to say that. I knew he was going to say that. Like I said, like I've told the chat many times that you can't trust anything that Zen Master said. Okay, now we, we did it. I think we can head back. I'm guessing Gage is at the Fizz Top Girl? Where is he? Uh, let's just go to the Fizz Top Grill. I, I mean, that's where I remember seeing Gage last. <laughs> you headed Zen off at the... You headed Zen off at the pass, partner. How do you like that, Zen Master? You just got, like, razzle-dazzled with some, like, uh, Western accent. <coughs> this way, huh? I'm gonna tr I'm gonna trust the waypoints in this game. Sometimes I don't trust the waypoints, but I'm gonna trust the waypoints. So I was thinking about the time I came to New York. I ever tell you that Did I just get tricked? Doesn't matter. I feel like telling it now. Ooh, some jet. Stim pack rad X, I'll take it. Zen Master says, it makes me wish I was playing a Wild Wild West game. Why, so you can get razzle-dazzled? You can. You can play uh, You can play Fallout 3 New Vegas. New Vegas is a Wild Wild West game. And one of the only Fallout games I've completed. I've completed Fallout 3 in New Vegas. But soon, I will have beaten this game. Then I can say I've beaten four football. Well, Three Fallout games. All right, Gage, you better be super impressed by uh, it. It actually took some effort. It actually took some I'll effort to conquer this you place. Actually did it. Nuka World is ours, all of it. Um, show some respect. You expected otherwise? Hey, show a little respect. Sorry, Bob. You've just got to understand, we ain't ever been on ground this solid before. Now that we're here, let's keep this party going. I'm thinking it's time we set our sights on the Commonwealth. Um... Aiming pretty high, aren't you, Gage? Why stop there? Why not take over the moon while we're at it? <laughs> nah, the little green men can keep that one. Taking back Nuka World is a big friggin' deal, no question. But it can't be the end of things. Needs to be a beginning. These bunch of savages need a goal. Something to focus on. If they ain't got it, they'll wind up turning on each other. In an operation this big, we're gonna need more of, well, everything. Nobody's gonna hand it to us. We need to take it. 
Commonwealth has a ton of shitty little settlements that could be put to better use. Don't you think? Um, let's just keep saying sarcastic things. Oh, nuts. I was just starting to get cozy in my little castle. Now you're starting to sound like Coulter. You remember? The idiot whose body we recently dumped into the river? He was always content to just barely scrape by. Look where that got him. We don't gotta rush into this headlong. We take it slow. Be smart about it. If we're aiming to grab a piece of the Commonwealth, it's going to take the right contacts and a lot of muscle. Right? I say we go have ourselves a chat with Shank. He's the point man for everything entering and leaving Nuka World. He floated this idea before. Been itching to talk to you ever since you took over. So I bet he's got a good idea of where to start. He's in charge of the caravan, so odds are you can find him somewhere near the marketplace. Um, sure. What's he gonna do? Show me how to milk a Brahmin? Maybe. If you ask him nicely, just head over and talk to the guy. He'll back up what I'm saying about the Commonwealth. And while you're doing that, I've already got the gangs working on getting Nuka World's power plant up and running. Isn't that a little advanced for Raiders? Time we shed some real light around here and let people know we mean serious business. Oh, and if you want my advice, or if you want me to tag along, You've got it. Hey, I saw underneath his little eye patch. He has an eye under his eye patch. He's just wearing that for looks. Oh, we want to talk to Shank. Okay, Shank. Yeah, Shank. Talk to Shank. Where? Where's Shank? Actually, no, 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 no. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Where? Where are my care packages at? I want my care packages. They're tributes. Give me my tributes. That's what I want. I want my loot. I get loot for each area that I conquer. You think I should play New Vegas? I have not played New Vegas since it was brand new. Places like this I could, I, you know, maybe, maybe that's a good reason to play it again. There we go. What's my capacity at? Almost at maximum capacity. Let's give some of this to dog meat. Whatever, he's wandering around. I'll find him when he teleports with me. Yep, there we go. To the bottling plant. Okay, we'll claim our loot packages, and then I guess we can sell that stuff. I guess if I invest in them, they're gonna get more cash money as well. That seems like a good idea to me. There's dog meat. Here, I, you need hey. to carry some stuff. Western revolver, that's funny. There, okay, that's the best he can do. Well, he carried a lot for us, so we should be good. We should be able to grab the care package over here. I was hoping there'd be more caps in a bottling plant. Take everything. Nice. Nice. Good news. Okay, so now we can go back over here. Let's go to the market, actually. To the Nuka Town Market. That's where Shank is as well. So we'll go there, we can buy and sell, we can talk to Shank. I can see if I'm allowed to invest in people to make them more effective traders. We can try a bunch of stuff. Not looking for trouble. Are you a merchant? Good deals. Oh, uh, hello, boss. Congratulations on taking out Coulter. I'm uh, sure you'll do great. Right. Hi. Oh, uh, oh you don't have anything else to say? You must be stressful running this den of backstabbers, throat cutters, and double dealers. Let my cams put that troubled mind at ease, eh? Um, give bloodworm. He wants bloodworm what have meat. You got the medicine you need to set yourself free. I've got cams of all kinds for you, boss. Just tell me what you need. I've got that 
bloodworm meat you asked for. Hey, all right. Been getting acquainted with the local wildlife, huh? I'll get to work on that special Calmex plan soon. Shouldn't take too long. Check back with me next time you're in the market. Now, what else can I get for you, hmm? Let me think it over. Whatever you want, boss. Hey, all right. Been getting... Sure. I'll get to work on that spell. Anything else? Okay. I'll take a look. Sure. My pleasure. Let's see here. So you sell chems. That means you're actually pretty useful. Because I'm always looking for more chems. Oh, there's an upgrade. I haven't seen an upgrade in a little while. Reset. Hold up now. That I haven't seen in a while. That's an upgrade. Wow. Okay, look at that. The muffled painted metal. It's a, it's a little bit of an upgrade. I mean, an upgrade's an upgrade, I guess, at the end of the day. Ant meat. That's a lot of bloodworm meat. I don't know what I'm going to do with all that. Okay, so you sell... I definitely want the Medex. Irradiated blood. Nuka coal. Here's some Meyer Lurk stuff. Oh, that's too much. He can't afford all that. Um, Psycho. I'll take the Psycho. There we go. Sell some Nuka. 300. Can I get 300 out of them? Uh, Psycho. Um, let me buy some Radaways. There we go. And sell, sell. That's good enough. Whatever. We don't need to make it complicated. The raiders keep talking about bloodworms. I hope I never find Miss Chase. Got plenty of supplies for you, boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What have you got? A little bit of everything, really. General supplies, some components, that kind of thing. So, what can I get for you? So, how do I is there like is there like how am I supposed to like How am I supposed to like invest in Not right the now. um no how am I supposed to use that hey, ability? Shelby. Stocking up for your next raid? Have a look. Sure. Why Take does she look. sound Take like um, Isolde from, what do you call it? Um... Oh my god, a massive brain fart. She sounds like Isolde from Skyrim. Nuka lurk meat. Wow, it's gonna be a, take a bit of effort to sell all this stuff. There we go. Okay, let me equip that item that's an upgrade. There we go. Barter and hit Q. Supplies, and I'm your girl. That didn't do anything. Okay, is there, and maybe there's instructions. Maybe I gotta read the instructions. So, boss. So this is literally just vents. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Shelby. What do you need today, boss? Oh, maybe I need to be in I'll the bartering screen. Sure. Maybe I need to be in the bartering screen. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, there we go. 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 I'm immune to addiction, so I don't need a dick doll. Let's do... That's good enough. 
Okay, so now I can invest. So now they should all have 500 more caps. If I understand it right. Everyone runs out of ammo sooner or later. So, what do you need? Why do I have to pay? Why do I have to pay for this stuff? I'm the overboss, remember? Like any market, this place needs caps to run. Whether it's for payoffs, bribes, you name it. I don't mean any offense, boss. It's it's just the way things run around here. I'll take a look, sure. All right. Okay, so now, oh, look at that, 848. Look at that, look at that. Okay, okay, okay. All right, okay, we're doing something now. Uh, do I do I want this um Do I want that this bloodworm meat? Is this bloodworm meat like he seemed like it was important. Do I is that something I actually want? Like do I need to do something with this? Let's start investing. Don't worry about me. I'll stay in line. Well, well. It's the highest and mightiest himself. How can I be of service, huh? I'll take a look. Sure. You got it, boss. Yeah, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. You don't you so you don't know what we should do with the blood the blood meat? Doesn't matter. Shut up. Okay, how much does it weigh is the question. Whatever, we're just gonna sell it. We're gonna sell it. Hey Maddox. Hey, hey. Is the baddest man in I'm selling it. What can I get for you, my friend? Let's see what you have. My pleasure. We're selling it. There we go. Okay, let me get the stuff from um Where's my dog at? This sure. place really yeah, I'm here to trade, but I'm not letting my guard down for a second. Hey. Give me all your stuff. Thank you. Hey, uh, Maddox. The boss comes calling. What's your pleasure today? Sure. Let's take a look. You got it, boss. Man, this is great. Like, this ability to, like, invest in the stores, that's going to make things so much easier. Oh, he's already almost broketh, though. Um, let me see. Can he afford one mine? For one grenade? Yeah, there we go. It's a little over, but who cares? Who cares? Not a big deal. It's not even a thing. Came a long way to see this place. Gotta keep stocked up on supplies, right? I wish it would Let's tell you. you. Here, here's a quality of life thing that I would like. I wish when you walked up to the merchants, it would just tell you how much money they have. Like where it says Shelby Chase, it would be nice if there was in parentheses like zero caps. Like that would be really nice. Alright, let's go find Shank. The traders here are no better than slaves. Like that would be that that I mean that'd just be it would just be a nice little simple quality of life change. I mean I know they're not gonna do anything for Fallout 4. Like I know that Bethesda's past making any adjustments, but that would be really nice instead of having to talk to somebody and then find out, you know, like, oh, okay, this is what I'm bartering with, etc. Well, look who it is. Liking what you've done with the place, boss. Gangs certainly seem pleased with their new little kingdoms. I haven't seen people this revved up since last time someone spiked the water fountains. Never formally introduced myself. Name Shank. And if you're standing here, well, I suppose Gage figured you might be the one to finally get things back on track. How long did it take him to convince you it was time to move on the Commonwealth? Um. Whoa there. I haven't decided yet. Well, then let me help you make up your mind because it's a damn good idea. Giving the gang spots to call their own around the park, it bought you some goodwill. But providing them with their own domains carved from the settlements of the Commonwealth, well, I can't think of a better way to solidify your place around here. Plus, make us all a pretty penny along the way. If that interests you, well, 
All you've got to do is say the word, and we can let the fun begin. Um, what is your role in this? I wanted to ask about your role in this. I'm listening. Uh, which gang are you with? Which gang do you work for? Don't work for the gangs. Gage brought me in to work for the Overboss. Plan was I'd advise Coulter in his grand scheme to run roughshod over the Commonwealth. And despite Coulter's change of heart, I've kept my ear to the ground, just in case that day ever came. I'm hoping today might finally be it. Okay, okay. Uh, what are you getting at? What is it that you get out of helping me do this? I've been well taken care of up to this point. I ain't greedy, but people with my kind of talents aren't common. All I'm looking for is a continuation of the lifestyle I've become accustomed to. And the same piece of the Commonwealth pie everyone else around here has been itching to take a bite of. What exactly do you do? So, what exactly is it you do? I'll walk you through all the ins and outs of getting us established on the other side of those mountains. Claiming territory, running jobs, keeping folks loyal. Gage and Coulter also tasked me with keeping on top of the goings-on back there. So I'll provide you with guidance on the places we can hit and the places we can't. Kind of makes me your one-stop shop for causing havoc in the Commonwealth. Okay. That was all I had. So, does that mean you're ready to begin? Ah, uh, me Lord, why not? Okay, let's get started. Music to my ears. So getting us set up in the Commonwealth is going to require three things. Territory, provisions, and loyalty. First things first, territory. We're going to need to claim a settlement for our gang to work from, an outpost. And there are two ways to claim new territory. You can head in yourself and convince the locals to leave. Or I can get a crew together and you all can put them in the dirt. How you do it is up to you. So, first big decision. You want to talk them off their land? Or you want to wipe them out? Um... What's the is is there honestly a difference? <laughs> is there a difference between the approaches? Well, settlers will probably rally some bodies if you try and wipe them out, but it's a guaranteed way to claim a spot. If you try to scare them off their land, there's a chance they might just tell you to take a hike. At that point, you might be able to buy them off, but it could end up getting expensive if you don't work them over a bit first. Beyond just that, there are some places out there overrun with trouble. Ghouls, children of Adam and the like. Those places aren't going to be interested in having a chat. So you're going to have more options if you go in guns blazing. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure we're going to do it the violent way. Get a gang together. Those settlers are as good as dead. <laughs> Stick with the classics. Now, once you and the crew have cleaned the place out, those lucky girls and boys will move in and start working the place. Of course, every outpost you claim for a gang is going to be something the other gangs don't have. And none of them like the thought of their rivals getting a leg up on them. Worth thinking over as you dole out more territory. So, which gang you want to do? Okay, so it looks like job? we still have to assign these. So, we gave um, two pieces of nuka world to the disciples two to the operators so we will do one for the, the pack. pack sure sure i'll get a steak on a string or something that just leaves the target now for a new outpost you'll usually want to target a spot with plenty of populated settlements nearby that might be able to feed our people later on taffington boathouse croup manor green top nursery the Slog all had a good number of farms within striking distance last I checked. Though I'll need to go through my notes again. Make sure they're all still good to target. We're not always going to be able to run every job against every settlement. So, you ready to pick the spot for Nuka World's first new homestead? Sure! We can't target certain settlements with certain jobs unfortunately can't talk people off their land if there's no one around to talk to and the like most cases i'll try to let you know why we can't target a place but the biggest hindrance is if there's already some activity going on there 
Though if that is the case, that Pip-Boy of yours might be able to give you some info on whatever might be blocking us hitting that spot. Oh, uh, he's probably now, talking about quest interference. Are you ready to pick that for a settlement? What were those targets you'd recommended? No, to okay, yeah, okay, that's not what I thought the question was. Sure. Yeah, let's do I'm it. Ready. Good. So, where do you want to do this? Um, I don't even... I don't know that any of the differences between any of these. Starlight Drive-In. I remember this. The Abernathy Farm. They betrayed me. That's right. They betrayed me. I forgot about that. Let me... Wait. Pretty sure that place is one of yours, boss. That's where you want to hit? Do not question me. Don't you ever question me meant no offense so these sorts of jobs are pretty straightforward move in kill everything in sight i'll make sure you've got some backup waiting to lend a hand when you get there why now, would i need to be able to take a direct route to the place fast way to get yourself killed so you'll have to meet our folks outside town now if you're looking for something to give you an extra edge might be worth checking in with some of the gang bosses. <laughs> Probably got some trick or two up their sleeves. The crew that's joining you is just gonna have standard kits, though. If you want to arm them up differently, I'd take along some extra gear. Knock them dead, boss. They're just gonna get in the way. Why would I want their help? We got this. Okay, we got this. Let's travel to the Commonwealth. The Abernathy, they betrayed me. So they have to be made an example of. I have to make an example of them because they betrayed me. Although Nuka... Oh, I didn't get to read that. Okay, hold on a second. Let me fully heal myself. Radaway Stimpak. Okay. So I cannot fast travel to Abernathy. Where was Abernathy? Oh yes, that's right. Like I said, they betrayed me. So now I have to make an example of them. I, they, they can't just betray me and get away with it. That's not the way any of this works. But since we're gonna go to the Red Rocket, we might as well drop our junk off. There we go. Also, I would like it to be daytime. I would love it to be daytime. Is there a bench anywhere? A bench would be nice. Oh well, nighttime raid it is. To Abernathy! Can I hit T to pause time only if I'm near a bench? Or I, I gotta sit on a bench or get into a bed. I cannot just wait anywhere I want. That is something that I learned the hard way. That's okay though. Like those of you who've watched the entire playthrough know that Abernathy, they were bad people. So I, I have to punish them for their insolence. And this is going to be just that. I mean, who knows? Maybe I'll get lucky and find a bench along the way. Hey. Mm, we're itching to bash some heads in, boss. There ain't no heads around here. Figure we can go have a look around, see what this place has got. This is it. Two arms! I could have swore I, I they they all should be dead. There shouldn't be anyone left. Oh my wa mo shinderu. Oh, here we go. Found a chair. Found a chair. Bingo. 
Yeah, these people, I, that's right, I already punished them for their insolence. I was kind of hoping they would come back from the dead. But alas. Okay, so did we do it? Did we win? Build your gang's signal flag using the workshop. Okay. Do I specifically need the use the workshop, or can I just hold V down? What is the gang's signal thing? It's probably under Raider. What is this? Flags, flags. The pack. There we go. No, don't, don't store it. There we go, we did it. Wow, that is one shitty flag. Yeah, this place ain't too bad. We gotta get supplies coming in. Head back and tell them we're good to go here. Okay. Really, do I seriously have to do that every single time? I guess the answer is yes. I guess, I guess the answer is I have to constantly... I wish it would just, like, let me see inside of Nuka World and then choose the specific person, place I want to load into. That would be a nice quality of life as well. Because, see, I did this. Now I gotta, like, load in... Wait, maybe Shank is just outside. Oh, thank God he's just outside. Well, well. Word going around is there's some new raider boss tearing up the Commonwealth. <laughs> Not too shabby. I'll make sure your cut of any caps the outpost pulls in are waiting in your quarters. So, oh, they make now me that money? we got part one on the books, we can move on to part two. Provisions. If you want to hang on to this newfound territory, you're going to need to convince a nearby settlement to start handing over shipments of supplies. I'll make sure those shipments get distributed direct to the outpost. Any caps they provide, will be waiting in your trunk up in Fiztop. And the more a settlement produces for itself, the more of each we can get them to cough up. Now, like before, the method's up to you. You can try talking to them yourself, convince them to hand over the goods, or you and a crew can introduce some bullets to some kneecaps. Um, I'm gonna beat some people up. Kneecaps? Meet bullets. Sounds good. I'll make sure everyone knows this is a maiming job. So, which gang you want to back you up? Let's bring the Disciples. They're probably really good at maiming people. Sounds like a plan. Then all that's left is the target. Only wrinkle is that it's got to be near our crew's new outpost. No settlement's just gonna hand over goods if there's no one close by to follow up on threats. And if you ever want to see for yourself which settlements are within range of our outpost, you can check the map in your pit boy. Place called Ten Pines Bluff might be a good choice within striking range, though I'd have to check my notes. So, what's the target? Uh, Ten, ten Pines? Wait, wait. Starlight Drive-In. I think they too. They wait, wait. Is is Sanctuary Hills? Isn't that where our? Isn't that where Garvey is? Preston is. Hmm. No go with that one, boss. No. I'm pretty sure a companion of yours resides there. I don't think they'd appreciate you hitting it. You want to give me another target, or did you maybe want to change up the job? Wow. Let's do a different target. Sure thing. So, where you want to do? Fine, this? I know the secondary target. Starlight Drive-In. They too betrayed me. Hmm. Huh. I think that one's your territory, boss. You're sure that's the one you want? Yes. To hit? Do not question me. Don't you ever question me. Of course not, boss. Now, forcing a place to turn over provisions ain't complicated. Beat the locals so bad they don't want to fight anymore. Put any backup they might have called in in the dirt. 
I'll send a couple gangers to meet you there. Make sure they know not to kill the settlers. Wouldn't be surprised if some Minutemen showed up to lend a hand. Wish I could see their faces when they see who they're going up against. Expect we'll have a new meal ticket in no time. That's funny, you get to fight against the Minutemen now? Okay. I, I confess, that, 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 that amuses me. I am amused by that possibility. And of course, of course now the Minutemen actually rally up and do something instead of sending me on their own. Like now the Minutemen want to be all autonomous, like, oh, we're useful now. Where's Starlight at? Here it is. Oh, I can just teleport there? Oh, I can't just teleport there. I can't teleport there? Well, I can teleport right to Drumlin Diner. Drumlin Diners- Oh, and then I can invest in Wolfgang and Trudy, who are like my OG merchants. Thanks for helping us out with Trudy. You did good. Now, let's talk business. Let's see what you have. I got stuff that'll blow your mind. Okay, here we go. Invest? Nice, nice, nice. There we go. There we go. Now we got now now we're talking. Now we are talking. Oh, that's too much. Ah, uh, maybe he's got something for me though. Medex. I always need more Medex. Psycho, I'll take Psycho. And then I'll just sell a little bit to him. Uh, it's one cap over. That's it's not a big deal. Not a big deal. Now we'll invest in Trudy. You gonna buy? Let's see what you got. All salvage. But nothing Damn, left. I should have gotten this ability so much earlier in the game. I should have gotten this like way earlier. None of these are upgrades, I don't think. So let you know, try not to go too fast. I don't want to miss something. Lab coats, leather chest piece, whatever, 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 whatever. And uh, I think that's all fine. That's fine. Can't I mix chems? I think I need to learn the chemistry. Although I haven't tried it, but like I wouldn't be surprised if I had to learn chemistry. Okay, so this place, they betrayed me earlier. I remember them as well. At the Starlight Diner, Zen Master even Zen Master even said so. Wait, you're using guns? I thought you hey, used melee boss, weapons. We're all set. No dead settlers, huh? Pity. Good thing everyone else is fair game. You ready? Attack! Let's do this. With pleasure. Wait, where are they? Okay, they're right over here. Attack! I brought the disciples along because they seem like they're really good at maiming things. Here we go. I saw something. Oh, Prepare yourselves! Oh, it's a fight. I sting you with my knife. Sting you with my knife. Sting you with the knife. Oh, it's a Minuteman. Sting you with my knife. Okay, I thought that attacked me for a second. Oh, I stung his, his arm off. Wait, that's the turret I built. Wait, that's right. Well, give me all of your stuff. All of your stuff. All of your stuff. Oh, 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 that's a body. 
all of your stuff. Where'd all these Minutemen come from? They never do anything when I'm the one who, when, when I do the job, they're like, oh, don't send anybody. Make him do it himself. Whoop, 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 whoop. Good news, friend. You've been selected to supply the gangs of Nuka World. Or else. What? Uh, yeah, sure. We'll, we'll make sure you're, you're taken care of. Yes! Victory! You raiders. Nothing but a bunch of parasites. Okay. Force a settlement to supply your gang. Oh, there you go. Talk to Shank. Collect your first payout? You'll get your supplies, all right? Just leave the place alone. Okay, let's go over here and, um... Now that we picked up some of the Minutemen's garbage, we can go and sell this over off the Drumlin Diner real quick. Then we can teleport back and uh, talk to Shank. Their pipe pistols do nothing, says Ricebox. Yeah, I, we, we may be a few levels higher than we were originally in the game. It's crazy how powerful you get in the game. Oh, I don't know why I didn't know that thing had a rad X just sitting in it. Got the itch. <clears throat> Shop's open. Like, we were getting destroyed in the very first episode. Like, I died like eight or nine times. Now I'm like, I have like the ultimate body. Musket. And is there, oh, look at that. Exactly 19. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Love to see it. Okay, let's go talk to, um, oh, so that's now a, it's that this is now a gang thing. That's pretty neat. Pretty cool. Pretty interesting. Okay, now we can talk to Shank. It's an interesting DLC. I, I guess, I wonder if Bethesda heard that people were getting frustrated with Garvey, with Preston Garvey, and so they basically made evil Preston Garvey to like, so that you could like torture people or something. Uh, there's a lot of yapping about wiping us out. Then I guess we'll just have to let them know who they're dealing with. You did good, now get going. The adults are gonna discuss this. Figure this would happen sooner or later. Our outposts caught the attention of some of our new neighbors in the Commonwealth. An outside crew of raiders think we're honing in on their territory. Sounds like they're planning to tear the place up, and our people with it. Suppose this provides us a good opportunity to make an example. You thinking what I'm thinking? Were you thinking about throwing an ice cream social too? Uh, wasn't my first <laughs> idea. No. <laughs> okay, that was pretty funny. Raiders of the Commonwealth, all those mutts understand is force. And I'm thinking it's time you and them came to just such an understanding. But you should okay, Sometimes the sarcastic going. remarks You wouldn't good. want to keep our new friends waiting. Wouldn't be neighborly. Wait, what do we need to do? Check in with your gang at Abernathy Farm? Okay, so this is the only part that's getting on my nerves, having to constantly, like, go in and out of Nuka World. You know what would make this a lot better is if you could just look at Nuka World, or if if you didn't have to go to Nuka World, if, like, I don't know, can I get a radio or something that lets me talk to them? Like, constantly having, because, like, I got to teleport out of Nuka World to here, but then I got to teleport again to um, Abernathy. Where is Abernathy? What is this quest objective? What is my objective? Check in with your gang at the Abernathy farm. Where, where is it at? There it is. That would make things... They're just like... Yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go. So Zen Master says Shank should just come out into the... Or he should exist in both places at the same time. There should be a Shank in and out of it at the same time so that you could basically just so that you don't have to zone in and out so much excuse me good you're here spotted those dogs not far off things are about to get fun around here okay what oh 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 my god don't tell me this is a, a attack Who's in charge around here i'll tear their heart out are you kidding me 
It just is literally just a defense. A Nuka World waste pile that thought you could you give me one good reason I shouldn't slice you open and eat your heart right here. Um attack. Oh, please try. With pleasure. Kill. Right. The stabbing. The stabbing. The stabbing. 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 It's what I do. Stabbing. Stabbing. Stabbing! Stabbing. 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 Okay, now I'm taking. Taking. Oh, this is going to be super heavy, isn't it? Oh, I'm going to get owned on my inventory, aren't I? No, it's six... Okay, never mind, never mind. We're still good. We're still good. We're still good. I know there was more than this. That's the corpse of a tree. I know there was more of them. I know there... I know I didn't loot all of them. Gimme. Wait, Blake Abernathy's body is still here. After all these hours later, Blake Abernathy's body is still here. Did I loot Sinner? Sinner's Raider. Oh, yeah, there's Sinner right there. Okay, they're all dead. We're good. It's all clear. Who do I need to check in with? Talk to Shank. Okay, so here we go again. Now I gotta teleport all the way back to Nuka World. Damn, this armor looks cool. I kind of want this suit of armor. I think it comes from the Automatron DLC. Robot armor is heavier. Hmm. It's kind of cool looking. Was that literally the same thing as like, oh no, one of our settlements is under attack? Heard some rumbles. This one didn't get you either. Figure I shouldn't be surprised. Oh no, Shank. I died. I'm a ghost. <laughs> well. Your secret's safe with me, regardless. So I suppose your recent success brings us to the next step. Loyalty. Without loyalty, everything that's yours ain't. And to keep a crew loyal, you need to keep them happy. Now, keeping raiders happy isn't real hard. Just have to make sure they've got their basic necessities, just like any other settlement that they've got some things to keep them entertained, and that their food's taken care of, which, with raiders, well, isn't like dealing with other settlements. Now, if you want me to go into detail on any of that, you just say. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to skip it and figure it out. I think I've got everything I need to know. Sure. I have no if idea what I'm doing. More questions, you come find me. Or you can always consult that pit boy on your own. But I bet I can no figure it tool out. To tell you what your I never read heard. the instruction manual. Now, depending on the state of the place when you hit it, this first outpost might already have some of the bare bones set up. All you've got to do is build up what's missing. If you want to run some jobs to convince more settlements to start sending supplies, well, you know how this works. You just come talk to me. And I was thinking... With the outpost coming as far as it has, might be time I set up shop there. Oh, thank Save God. Save you a trip anytime you want to run a job. Oh, thank God. You just let me know if that's something that Oh, yes. You. Yes. Be good to make some trouble in the yes. again. Yes. Yes. So, there anything I can do? Yes. Oh, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I want you to head to an outpost. Sure thing, boss. Where am I going? Oh, yes. Suppose I better get a move on then. 
See you there, boss. Oh, it's so good. All right, while we're here, market time. Oh, it's so good. He does actually move in. It's so good. Hey there, boss. Here we go. Hey, Aaron. Unless you're here to take this call off me and set me free, I'll assume you need guns or ammo. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Automatic right. Oh, look at that. He has 800 and some odd money. Oh, it's good. I like. I love. Love to see it. Love to see it. Oh my God! I can actually sell stuff, and they can actually buy it. Oh. Right, right. Next person. Got plenty of supplies for you, boss. I'll take a look. I, I always wanted to try this in Skyrim. I never tried the investment ability. Oh my god, next time I play Skyrim, I have got to do this. That was this is it's so good. Trying to make sure I don't sell any upgrades by chance. But I think I'm oh yeah, all oh, these seven dollar Minutemen outfits. Those Minutemen outfits are trash. Oh, this is worth a lot. 78, 78. 62, 62. Okay, let me sell to make the numbers a little smaller. Welding goggles. Yeah, there we go. Where was... I know there's another trader. It's the chem guy. Where is the chem guy? Right here. Not for all these. Hi, Maddox. Just a man I was hoping to see. Supplies, boss. A little off. I call it Callmex Silk, cause it's so damn smooth. Now, what else can I get for you? Callmex Silk? What is that? I'll take a look. Sure. You got it, boss. Sell this stuff. Calmex Silk. Sneak Attack Multiplier? Oh, that's for cowards. Not for, like, not for me, who is the samurai of the Commonwealth. I don't need anything like that. Okay, there we go. Wow, that's great. Zen Master says getting speech up is a bitch in Skyrim. I wouldn't be surprised. I don't remember it. I don't really remember it too well. Here, how do I remove a mark? I want to remove a mark. How do I remove? There we go. Remove the mark. All right, so now we need to do something. We need to make them happy. Make your raiders happy. This sure sounds familiar. Um, the outpost was at Abernathy Farm. Alright, back to Abernathy. Sell one item at a time in Skyrim? God, that doesn't sound, that doesn't sound tedious. No, 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 no. You pay for the upgrades. That's how you would do it. You would go to a guy who's an expert in speechcraft and you would buy your upgrades. That's how you would do it. Otherwise, it would take like a bajillion years. That's how I would do it. I would just pay for the upgrades. The only other thing you you know you no 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 another idea. You could commit crimes and then persuade people or bribe people to to look the other way. Commit crimes and then bribe people. Okay, so what do I need to do to make these people happy? D okay, all right, chat, you guys got to help me. How do I make these people... How do I make these people happy? I know I didn't read any of this, but I figured you guys would tell me. What do we need here? We need defense or something? I guess we need defenses? Get them supplies? How do I do that, Zen Master? I, 
I, I skipped the tutorial so that you guys could tell me what to do. Oh, we have to go to another settlement? Okay, let's go to another settlement by raiding them. Okay, we can do that. Everyone earns their place. <laughs> let's put it in. You remember that, boss. We can do that. Boss, what can I do for you? Was hoping you could arrange a job for me. Yeah, yeah. What kind of job we talking here? Um. Force a settlement into supplying Rally us. some bodies. We're gonna beat a settlement into supplying us. You got it, boss. In which gang you want to join you on the job? I can. Why can't I just do it myself? Let Let's have the uh, let, Let's the operator. Let's have the Deal. professionals do it. They'll be waiting for you. So, where you want to do this? Um, I don't know. Sunshine Tidings Co-op, I guess. Hmm. Believe that spot's one of yours, boss. Still want to proceed? Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't you ever question me. This yeah, guy's always. I. Uh, this is the third time I've said, "Don't question me." The plan. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go raid this place. Oh, it's just Beat down but south. Wow. Local citizenry. First night chat from Ron the First. He says you need to assign the food. Okay, okay. So I got to do basically settlement things, so it's not really any different. Okay, once we raid these guys, we will go and assign some people around. Wait, does that mean I could combine automatron and have like robotic raiders or something? How close are we? I gotta go across the water, of course. Mind your own business. It means I could, like, get rid of all of my raiders, and then I could have robots. I could have robotic raiders. I could put them all, I could get all the ra- oh, who are these guys? You don't look like you're on my side. Wait, you, you might be on my side. Are you guys on my side? Oh. I'm just stabbing people. Look, look, don't ask me what I'm doing, I'm just stabbing people. I'm not sure if I stab the right people, but I'm stabbing people. That's all I got to say about it. Like, someone's going to get stabbed. Oh, look at these guys just over here. Yeah, didn't want to help. That's how it is. Like, I see you guys are just right over here. Hey. Look at boss, Errol Flynn over here. The are all set. You just let us know when you want us to get started crippling some settlers and putting holes in their friends. Yeah, let's do it. We're doing it right now. Let's do this. All right. First I chat from the Punk Chef 93 says hello. Welcome. We are we are here to like set some of these traders straight. This is the price of betrayal. The stabbing. The stabbing. The stabbing. The stabbing. I d I still don't know what it means when I hear that like baseball crack and cheer. I know it's a good thing. Oh, you're one of the people who don't die. That's fine. You don't have to die. Just wait and- Oh, get him! Get him! Get- I uh, get him! One for good measure. You. You're gonna start supplying Nuka World. Understand? He didn't say anything! I don't think he understood. I had to make sure he understood. I like how I can loot his head. There we go. Got the Minutemen here. 
Uh, I don't know if there's any other. I don't. I don't really feel like searching extremely hard for all their bodies, but you know, I'll take a quick look around. Okay, I think we did it. Back to the other place. And then we'll see. We might need to assign some raiders to do some farming or something. I know that that's what that's really what they signed up for, isn't it? They really signed up for that. Mr. Gutsy was created by General Atomics International as an al combat alternative to domestic to the domestic Mr. Handy robot. There we go. Boss. Something I can do for you? There another settlement you want to help? Oh. Oh, okay. It it it, it auto completed. It auto completed. All right. So, I think I need Why are their bodies still here? Their bodies have been here since like episode like 3 or 4. Okay, so apparently I need to assign people to do things. How do I do that? I press E. Right? And then I tell them to do that. Is that how I assign people? Yeah, he's assigned to food. How many people do I need to assign to food? Do I need to assign them all to food? What else can I assign these guys to? I'll just I'll sign all of them to food, I guess. So what what else can I do to make them happy? We don't do we need defenses or something? Do we need water? You only need as much food as people. I need water. Yeah, it looks like we need water. Okay, let me see if I remember how to do this. It's been a minute since I've had to do these. It's probably under food, I assume. Structures, furniture, decorations, defense, resources. Maybe under resources? Food and water. There we go. Water. Oh, I need concrete. That's right, because my stuff isn't linked together. Or is there a different one? This one uses oil, 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 oil. Okay, hold on a second. Let me see if I can find something made out of concrete. Ooh, these look like they're made out of concrete. That's actually attached to that. Something made out of concrete. Or I could transfer some concrete from one of my other settlements, I'm sure. Melons. Wire fence. Wire fencing. This is all steel and stuff. That's not what I'm looking for. Okay, I might I might be able to... Okay, I think I, I, I got an idea. What if we go over here? Go to Red Rocket. I might have some concrete in Red Rocket. Or do I just need to... Does the water work on its own? Or does somebody need to be assigned to the water? C for concrete. Or maybe B for bag of concrete? Bag of cement. That should be good enough. Alright, I bet the bag of cement should be good enough. Or at least that's my opinion. That should be enough. Robot workbenches allow for the construction of a wide range of crazy things. Yeah, I remember that. All right, so let me go to my workbench and dump this concrete in here. Let's see if that allows me to build a water pump. Yes, water pump. How do I rotate it? Just like that. There we go. Water pump. Look at that. We got water. What else do we need? Do we need power? I don't know what I would connect the power to. What, what, what else do you think we need? Do you think we need a turret or something? A basic turret? We need oil? 
I know what we can do. Because I don't have any oil here, what I can do is, um... I'll build some barricades, and I guess I'll assign them to the barricades. Okay, let's go reassign one of these guys. You're unassigned? Well, you're about to be assigned to defense. There we go. Uh, let's build another one, I guess. Yeah, how about over here? Yeah, looks like a great place for a barricade. That's what I'm talking about. You're assigned to defense. You're assigned to this. Okay, now you're assigned to defense. What 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 else do we need? What 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 are we missing? So we've got six food, which is more than enough for the four people. We've got six water. Do we need electricity? I mean, electricity isn't in the red. Tramps. Oh, yeah, that came with the wasteland thing. I remember that. I haven't messed around with that, though. What are these cages for? An arena? Miscellaneous. What is this? Qu quitting time siren? Beta wave emitter? A bar in the shop? Where would I find a store? Food and drink? A drink stand. Are these all just the same thing? A bar. Here we go, a bar. How do where do how do I you need local leader to oh I see. So I can't do any of these. Well, that's fine. That's as good as it's going to get for them for now. I, I don't think we can do any better than that for now. Let me talk to Shank. Maybe Shank has an idea. Hey, boss. Need something? Answer some questions for me. Shoot. Is there anything our outpost needs at the moment? Actually, boss, sounds like you've got all the necessities taken care of. If outposts aren't getting to where you need them to be, you could try building some entertainment, like a pick-me-up station, an amp and transmitter, or a booze still. Was there anything else? Okay. That was it. Got it. Something else I could do for you? Let's see if we can build any of those things he just mentioned. Any at all. What would those fall under the category of? Structures? No. Furniture, decorations. Store, we couldn't do any stores. Maybe they're under re, re what, what, dealers. Wasteland Warlord required. Okay. Operators? No. This is just like decorative stuff. Nuka World Radio Transmitter. Raider Miscellaneous. Blood Trough. Broken Animatronics. Now these all look like decorative things. Where did you see the booze still? Pick, oh, pick me up station. Pick me up station. Oh, I need war, Wasteland Warlord. What, what, what is that under? Where, what is Wasteland Warlord under?
Oh. Wait. What is Wasteland Warlord under? Is it under um, Charisma? Okay, here's the Charisma tree. Lady Killer, Lone Wanderer, Attack Dog, Local Leader, Party Boy, Inspirational, Wasteland Whisperer. Um, I don't know what that's under. You make it by getting outposts? The Raider radio helps? Okay, get the radio. The Nuka World radio transmitter. Okay, let's get the transmitter. There we go. If you ain't standing out, this won't work without power. Oh, electricity, of course. Electricity. Power generators. There we go. Boom. I don't know what this did, but it did something. Oh, I can make... Oh, okay. So you're saying I do have rank one. Okay, okay. So I have rank one, meaning I should be able to make the booze one. Okay, what did we find the booze under? I think we found it under Raider. Booze still. Here we go. I need to assign someone to this. Oh, okay, okay. It needs an assignment. All right, all right. All right, we got to find someone that, um, we got to find someone that isn't working. Who is available? You're not a part of this community. All right, you're assigned to the booze still. There we go. Oops. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. All right, that was good enough. We did it. Hmm. Place is looking good, boss. Everything a gang of low lives could ask for. So, you ready for the final piece of the puzzle? Sure. <laughs> Ready as I'll ever be. Good to hear. Because what you've made is a foothold. To solidify our place, our outfit's gonna need some real numbers. Two more outposts carved from the Commonwealth ought to do the trick. Get all that together, and, <laughs> well, we'll have a real base of power on our hands. With that kind of clout, we'll be able to start setting up dealers at our outposts. Get to selling stuff like real damn town. We keep expanding from there. We'll even be able to set up spots where the locals can come drop off tribute. But I'm getting ahead of myself. For now, you'll want to start by claiming another two outposts. You just let me know whenever you want to get rolling. Okay, I would jobs. say that so, boss, from here on out, we're probably just doing kind of the Radiant quest lines and stuff for them. For now. So right. I'm going to say that we've basically completed Nuka World. Like, from now on out, I think we're just going to be doing, like, Raider Settlement Simulation. So I'm going to count that as we... I feel like we've basically no beaten Nuka World. Just don't screw this up. Like, we got through the main thing, which was, you know, like, you know, exploring the Nuka World itself. And now we're just, you know, we're basically doing, like, evil Preston Garvey stuff. So, overall, I would say that was a pretty cool experience, overall. I did enjoy Nuka World. And, um... 
I do also like that you can kind of do like an alternative to the what, the what Preston Garvey's doing. Like the Nuka World gangs, they definitely seem a lot more cool than um, the Minutemen overall. And um, yeah, I mean, I definitely think it's it, it's pretty good. Somebody asked earlier if I thought that some of these DLCs were worth it. Uh, some of them I think are only worth it if you're really into the settlements. Like I don't think the automatron would be worth it unless you're really into the settlements. Now, if you love the settlements, then you're gonna love automatron. And um, obviously, the wasteland workshop—that's just nothing but settlement stuff. But the um, Nuka World was definitely a lot of fun. All the areas were really neat. The adventure was pretty neat. And then also, yeah, it does tie into the whole, like, settlements thing. It gives you kind of an alternative. Once again, if you thought, like, the Minutemen were, like, super lame, etc. So, what I'm going to be doing next time is I am going to be trying out uh, Far Harbor. Far Harbor is going to be my next one, because like I said, this is my first time playing on um, Fallout 4. This is my first playthrough. And so uh, let me go find when I'm streaming next. Uh, tomorrow. So all this week, we got Fallout from 7 p.m. Uh, my time, which is Eastern time. That's GMT minus 5. I got Fallout all this week. We are on a Fallout rampage right now. Like, I am going to basically, like, plow through this content as my... Because, like, I'll, I'll be honest. I like the game enough that I see secretly I really want to play the game off stream. But I know if I play the game off stream, I can't give my genuine first-time reactions to things, which is what people want to see. So I, I've been really not... I, I've not made any progress on anything. I, I wanted to start another character and just play on my own. But, like, I'm not going to do that until I... So I really want to get through the content basically so that i could play on my own i would i wouldn't mind doing a second playthrough um a survival focused playthrough now that i have a better idea of how to play but overall i, I do like it quite a bit um I, I am you know it was one of those things where people told me not to play fallout 4 when it first came out and I had other games to play, so I just played some of the other games, in, uh, and I steered away from Fallout 4. But I'm actually liking Fallout 4 more than I liked Fallout 3. And uh, that's what everyone was telling me. that the, Everyone was telling me that Fallout 4 was going to be worse than Fallout 3, and that the game was going to be dumbed down, and that it wasn't good. And so I just, at the time, I was, like, black-pilled with... Um, I was, like, black-pilled with AAA games, and I just kind of, like, believed what they said, and I just did never got Fallout 4. But, yeah, I'm actually liking Fallout 4 more than I like Fallout 3, and I did like Fallout 3. So, overall, like, I, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty satisfied with the experience overall. Like, it's been a lot of fun, and like like I said, I, I, I actually just want to play the game some more in my own time. Anyways, though, if you'd like to see my adventure of how I got here... Uh, then all you got to do is just, here's my YouTube channel, or my Twitch channel. Just scroll down and go to Fox VODs. This link here will take you to where I upload all my streams. So if you want to see any of the old episodes, you could, you know, it's easy to tell which episodes are Fallout. It's got the big guy with the power armor in the background. I always put the episode numbers in the top right corner so you can see the Fallout playthrough. You're currently watching episode 13. You know, it goes all the way back. I, I, and you know, like I said, I've never played Fallout before. So episode four involves a lot of dying. Like, I, I did not know how to play the game. I was getting my ass blasted, basically. And over time, you know, um... Now my character's, like, way stronger, so it's pretty crazy, like, how strong you get. You can see any of the other games that I play there as well. But, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And uh, I am playing this game uh, based on the community voting for it. Uh, if I go over here on my discord I, I basically add 10 games that you guys could vote for and number three one that would be fallout 4 that's how i came here uh it almost was beaten by project zomboid with 25 votes but uh yeah like you know i'll host these little votes periodically to see what people want me to play and that's how i came about to play fallout so thank you so much uh, first time chat from hashtag Dutch. He says, hey, bro, I will watch you starting my first Fallout 4 playthrough as well. Well, you know, uh, I would say a good idea. Um, you know, I've been a content creator for a while, and I would say, like, uh, a good idea is just uh, a quick tip is that only the first 40 characters in a Twitch title are visible. 
Like uh, anything after the first 40 characters, people can't see. So I would say in the first 40 characters, let people know that this is your first time playing Fallout 4. That would be my rec that would be a quick piece of advice, uh, one content creator to another. Anyways, thank you so much for tuning in. Come back tomorrow. I'll be playing MechWarrior 5 at 2 and then Fallout 4 at 7. That would be PM, and it's my time, which is Eastern time. That is GMT minus 5. But another way you can do it is just follow me on Twitch, and it'll notify you when I go next online. But at the end of the day, of course, remember that you don't have to be good. To get good.